like, listen, no, you're people. Oh, fair. Oh. Ah! oh. <laughs> 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 Also, I think the funny part is that, like, Narita's the older sister. I believe she's the older sister. I can't remember how it's been too long. But he's taller than her, and she's an angry short at five foot even. Nice. So, she's fun. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Angry, like, angry and short is a mood that I think everyone feels, even if you're tall, so I can respect it. <laughs> nice. I can't say anything. My grandma hates it. Uh, she's she found out she's she's four foot eleven now. Like she's shrinking, and I was just like, she hates it when I make fun of her. I'm like, it's, it's a, it's fun. I enjoy myself. It, it's fun. <laughs> it's fun. We pick up uh, all the time. We pick up. I have my notes, thank God, but if I did, I would be <laughs> We were investigating something. You mm -hmm. were investigating. You were investigating real good. Mm -hmm. Well, one of us was. <laughs> Some of you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Music's going up in the music tab right now. Yep. I did, but literally the bots keep crashing every time I try to use them, so I have just stopped. What bots have we tried? Uh, all of them. <laughs> literally, oh, I, uh, everything from Groovy. Fuck, what are the other three or four that I use that like everyone recommended to me? But, you know, like, ba basically, I use like four different, four to five different bots, and they all crash, and they all never work. I, I think it has something to do with just like the peer-to-peer -peer connection with the internet with people and either my internet or someone's internet is not stable enough to keep the music going. It's probably mine. You can blame me. I have the shittiest Oh, it, it's, it's not just you though. It's like a bunch of other people we have problems with. It. You tried Rhythm Bud already then? Yeah, I've tried Rhythm Bud. It, it gave me the most stability. I'm gonna give it that. That's the one I've seen that has the most stability, so... Sad, why are you a robot? Why not right. be a robot? Are you a robot? He is sounds is very robot-y. Yeah. Weird. Let me try and fix this. Did I fix it? Yes. Yes. Good, good. <laughs> That was my first thought. I was like, that's a little weird. But okay. Yeah, I fucking... <laughs> like, I think that, like, shows, like, where everyone's mindset is. Because here I am, I'm just like, Oh, it's a big fuck you dragon battle. This dude's totally gonna die. You and Luna. Four. Four. I mean, whenever it says Tarask interior, all I can think of is the interior of a Tarask. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I that's so fair, actually. No, why? No. no. Um, no. What does that mean? I'm concerned. I don't- I don't want to know that one. <laughs> why. There is my D&D folder. Uh -oh. oh no, why is this real? Dragon's resources. It's that one, just posted on the subreddit for Christmas. Um, oh, get ready for this. this I don't want to know. Oh, this is how we're starting, huh? Okay. We're starting with the of the <laughs> oh, I've actually seen this before. So it's this is actually less that's disgusting. Like, it is disgusting. Well, considering they're like a city-sized dinosaur, like it would make sense to just go. I mean, you hope that you don't just die from stomach acid immediately. This 
is well, that why would is... probably be the only way to kill it is from the inside, let's be honest. Why is there a tower sticking I was out? just about to say, like, what is going on with that? More for the map if it was attacking a city and then It has an entire statue oh. to it, and what I assume is, 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 I don't even know what that is. <laughs> How many stomachs does it have? Uh, like a thousand, why? Yeah, that's uh, what I was wondering, I'm like... Yeah, that makes Durr. sense. Uh, don't, it has an entire statue in one of its stomachs. I think my favorite thing that I'm seeing in this is when you eventually get to what do I assume the colon is, there's just a very large anchor. That's, uh, very clearly not going to escape the bowels comfortably. Oh. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know that's... <laughs> that's unfortunate. The ter the, God damn. I just... If I ever run a terrasse now and use this map, I'm literally just gonna give him Mr. Meeseek's voice. Existence is pain! <laughs> <laughs> um, that statue that's in the stomach, that's just one of the guts, really. Ah. Uh. Yeah. It only has the one stomach. That's where all the acid pools are. There's just there's I too see. many parts. Yeah. Oh, now I see what you're talking. Oh my god. This is. I don't know if you're showing this on stream, but this is like. I can. There, there are a few times in my life where I understand <laughs> when people say it's so gross, but I can't look away. Mm -hmm. This is one of them. <laughs> right. I love it. I was planning on using it for one of my campaigns eventually. Oh god. I like to- in, for my campaigns, I like to have like memes and like really cool things. Yeah, so, like, yeah that sounds that like you. That is a contradictory statement if I've ever heard one. There was one time, I think it was three of my friends and everyone else couldn't show up so we just ran like a quick little one-off thing. And they were fighting a cannibal and it was Shia LaBeouf. Someone did a whole monster <laughs> sheet Actual for Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf. Yep. <laughs> All right. You know what? Oh my God! The holiday episodes. Oh, I love my holiday episodes. Oh, we fought Krampus and tamed some of his reindeer. Yeah, I was not expecting. Didn't that. I tame mine by befriending it by gifting it a dress? Yes, you gifted it a dress and draped it over its antlers. <laughs> Listen. That's what the spirit of D&D &D and tabletop RPGs is all about. Exactly. I remember so, the Headless Horseman one, too. Oh, I forgot about that one. Yeah. Oh, I want to run a Headless Horseman narrative so bad next Halloween, you guys. <laughs> I Like, the Headless Horseman is one of my it. favorite OG, old-school, like, ghosts. And, like, oh, fuck, no one makes this guy as powerful as he should be. I want to so bad. I... Uh, I have the creature sheet for it, so I would I would appreciate you sending it to me because what I would want to do is like kind of do what they did with the 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 one with Johnny Depp in it and like have it be like this big like Dracula esque mystery thing. Oh, that'd be so uh, cool. I would literally just steal and reinvent things from the Curse of Strahd book, which I recently purchased, and it's so goddamn good. Like when people say. Buy Curse of Strahd, I finally fucking get it. Don't buy too much. Oh my god. I was in a Curse of Strahd game that never finished, and I'm still just like, I still want to finish it. It was it was very nice. Oh, dude, Cur Curse of Strahd dude, really, like, that, and that, that's like the best thing. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish my rant, I promise. I won't take long. But that's what me and Bree were talking about, how, like, we were kind of like, fucking groaning over Tomb of the Annihilation and all the stumbles that it does in its campaign. And, like, Curse of Strahd is so good because from the very beginning, it's like, listen, this is all super open-ended. And, in fact, if you want to steal things from this book, go for it. I'm just like, thank you. That's all, that's all I want a supplement book to tell me. Yes. I just want to steal and do things on my own, but I like to have a guide. I mean, yeah. Oh, cool. My nose is going to be a whole thing today. That'll be fun. That's okay. okay. I mean, usually it's a hole, yeah. <laughs> what you say is I'm going to get my plastic surgery to become he who shall not be named Voldemort. So I've sent. He you still has little nose slits, though. I've sent you two entirely not useful creature pages: one for Shia LaBeouf and the other for Dire Pigeons. <laughs> dire pigeon. Dire pigeons. 
Dire pigeon. You, you jest, but I actually have seen the dire pigeon before. <laughs> I have the dire pigeon in my repertoire. Oh, I've been holding on to it oh, for some time. I like one of the abilities is idiocy. <laughs> it has a disadvantage on wisdom checks. <laughs> Which is already at a zero. <laughs> right? <laughs> Dude, how I would want to run the Dire Pigeon is literally that class that, when it fails, it succeeds. Oh. That's how I would want to run a Dire Pigeon. Just think, a swarm of Dire Pigeons that just die for no reason while flying, but because of how gravity works, they end up terrorizing a village. <laughs> uh, I was just going to have them everywhere in one of my campaigns. Um, Ooh! Just everywhere. The only thing, like you know how we have pigeons everywhere. Mhm. Mm they're just dire pigeons, so they're just slightly larger. <laughs> Where did you get this phoenix from? Uh, I was at a one shot, and my character they killed the phoenix, and she took the egg. So she's just hanging on to an arc like arc light phoenix egg. Fuck this thing is cool. All right, well let's get to our campaign. But thank you, yeah. both of you, because I've got so much fun shit now. So, last time, Sola, I'm going to open up character sheets. Sola, the, uh, Sola, the drow, words? Yes, the half-drow sorcerer, Kandor, the uh, tiefling warlock, Bliss, the tiefling rogue, Grandolf, nothing else is needed. The current <laughs> elf, the high elf wizard, and Vorton, the once dragonborn, now living suit of armor paladin. That you that all looks like a dragonborn. That's now that now looks <laughs> like a dragonborn because of magic. Yeah. You all were able to escape. Some of you, your pasts long forgotten. Some of you, your pasts never forgotten. And some of you just got a cool shield that made you look like a person again. Mm -hmm. And you managed to survive having your benefactor, Pagif, try to kill you for reasons unbeknownst to all of you. Though maybe the players have already been like, hmm, shifty eyes. You guys landed in the far, far southern end of Faerun, near the forest of Tether. And eventually found your way uh, being greeted by a large, sort of blobby, dark black, like literally just like a black oozed figure that uh, was donned with different uh, bones of uh, animals and uh, forest, who offered to help you guys get through the forest of Tether on the simple request that he get to show you something. Um, after having to deal with a handful of creatures called, because my brain doesn't want to work, oh my god, displacer beasts, uh, and narrowly being able to fight them off, the group eventually found their way to what looked like the ruins of a abandoned city. Eventually, going through different ends of an underground marketplace of uh, the different housing and research facilities eventually coming into a main square where these multiple parapets which i think is the right word of these uh divots were orbs were to be found and when one of when you guys took your ronger that you stole from pagif you placed it in the divot and your new ally blackstaff began to remember a lot of things as you guys tried to speak to him, as he sort of was replaying broken memories, uh, he eventually just stopped in front of the uh, the entire divots in front of you, and he's just standing there motionless. He still looks like that of like a Goliath figure, but he's not. Any of the detail in the face and clothing has just sort of sucked back into his blobbious form to just be like a Goliath silhouette. And my question to the group is, who wants to do what first? Hmm. I, 
Like, does he look dead? dead? <laughs> you try to, like, I guess, like, if you guys, like, try to, like, say something to him or touch him, he's just unresponsive. Pliss is just, like, hanging back, because this dude is weird. Understatement of the year award goes to... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, I have a question. How many orbs are missing? Because you guys put one in, there are four mm -hmm. more uh, little like shrine areas. But you have but discussed that, especially after... That. Yes, there's like ten that are known. Okay, just making sure. Mm-hmm. Gonna poke him. Um, what do you poke him with? Just your finger? Yeah, just my finger. You, you poke know. him, and like <laughs> the form is both. It's it's a conundrum. It is. It kind of bends to your finger like it's jelly, but instead of like blubbering around like when you pull your your hand back, it's like it just slowly becomes firm again. That's weird. <laughs> He's memory foam. <laughs> can, can I like our? Hey, that's a pun. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You guys did it, not me. What were you saying? Can I, like, Arcana check that or something? Sure. Eh. Okay. I was gonna, I was about to say, like, maybe actually you wouldn't want to get uh, advantage, but with that 24, that's fine. Um, You sort of, like, look at him, Grandolf, and you're sort of, like, watching, and as you kind of look a little bit deeper in, like, you kind of, like, peer trying to pass the blob and you see the different little spectrals of light and magic sort of like sparking and dancing inside him and you've never seen this kind of technology before but you know he's alive it's like he's in very deep thought interesting uh, I'm going to say, oh, man, would you eat? Mm. With that, Grandolf, roll me just a base intelligence check, because I, I want to see if Grandolf just is a, a smart enough boy. Natural one! He is He's a dumb stupid. boy. Look at you, this when, dumb when it comes thought. to magic, you just, like, you get it, right? But, like, this is something you've never fucking seen. <laughs> You were like, dumb shit. I, I told you, whenever I want to know something useful, I roll fucking ones. <laughs> it, it's, it's like someone who knows, like, that's a car. Yeah, how does it work? Oh. Exactly. Grand Alpha in a nutshell. <laughs> uh, does cool. anybody else want to do anything? <laughs> uh, well, we saw, like part of the town starting to reform when we put, like, the uh, orb into the divot. Mm -hmm. Can I look for a room and, like, put my portable house key into a door? Ooh, okay. I haven't tested it yet, so... You have not. Um, you find one of the buildings that is, for the most part, like, restructured now. A lot of, sort of, the... Uh, the, gr the the vines and whatnot that were wrapping around it are still wrapped around it, but you actually notice that some like there seems to be sort of like some symbiotic connection between sort of like the buildings and the nature around it. And as you close the door and pop the lock in, you hear in your own mind, Candor, like the the tumblers like echoing as you turn. And the question I want to ask as you open this door is, what does Candor picture as a hideaway? That's a good question. I would say, like, a cozy kind of, like, secluded cabin. Okay. You walk in, and that's exactly what you see. Unfurnished. Excuse me. Unfurnished. And with no windows, but you see sort of like a log house cabin in the woods of, of the interior of this now opened uh, door. Hmm. 
I'm just gonna chill in there for a little bit. All right, you, are you telling anyone you're going in there? Um, no, I'm just gonna walk in there and kind of examine it for like five, five, ten minutes. All right, you you kind of like start walking around uh, to check out different like aspects of the the building. Maybe start like thinking, oh, I think I could put some really nice something really nice right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm going to say if no one else wants to do anything, uh, everyone can roll a perception check for me. Well, I'm in my house, so. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Oh! Amazing. I got two net ones in I a row. I am very perceptive, yes. <laughs> uh, Bliss, you have not taken your eyes off of Blackstaff since uh, he just froze up and stopped, like reenacting a play to something you've never seen before. So you're the first one to notice that, like, suddenly all of these, like, little stars inside of his form start flickering, and his body very robotically begins to sort of move and adjust itself. Cool. Freaky. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> Uh, the form begins to walk to the group that's still there. Uh, Kandor, I want to say that if you want, you can say, like, you've left your cabin, you're back with the group within the five minutes that this has been going on. Sure. And you see as, he, as it walks closer, uh, it, it starts to shrink until it actually does not look mu like a person or even like a little halfling. It actually looks like a, a very small like define list little silhouette of like just basically think a chippy version of what he just was and it just looks up with you and like one eye opens and you hear out of no mouth speaking as it says construct black staff rebooted and fully functional. And then it just kind of shivers like... <laughs> that was weird. Oh. Uh. It just blinks and stares at you guys. Is it still tiny? Yeah, still exceedingly tiny. And it's speaking very freely now. Plus it's just like squinting at it. How oh, are you sure. feeling, little buddy? Oh, my entire internal system is actually working at... And it just stops. Oh, that's not good. Uh, And it's like head is kind of like twitching. 50%. Oh, that's really not good. I mean, I can function. It's... And like, it kind of like puts its hands up very cheerfully. <laughs> Um, about how tall is it? Like, I want to say it's like the down. size of a puppy. I'm gonna pick it up and examine. All right, what what are you looking for? Um, well, it said it's a construct, so I want to see if besides like the black mass, there's anything concrete in there. You know what I mean? Okay, roll an investigation check. Hmm, bad investigation. I don't know. Uh, does anyone else want to check? You kind of try to, like, look in, and it just, like, keeps kind of, like, adjusting its head to, like, make eye contact <laughs> with you. Like, what are you looking at? Oh, look at Bliss it. Bliss is going to poke at it with her tail. Let's just all get very close to it and just start looking at it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this, this little form of, of Blackstaff just sort of just, like, you don't see a mouth, but the way the eye bends and, like, the way the facial structure kind of twists, it seems very happy that everyone's so close to it. Um, <laughs> Grandolf and Vortun, you both try to, like, look a little bit closer in, and you actually, like, make eye contact with this thing, and you see the dancing lights of magic, but more importantly, Vortun, you see it like, tr like the magic lights are, like, traveling on, like, pathways. Like, on these little trails. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, 
interesting. I point that out to Grandolf. Like, look at those. Uh, Grandolf, think? you can roll a, a history check or a uh, straight intelligence check with advantage because I feel like your character would know this. Uh, intelligence with advantage? Yeah. Or history. See, the moment, or history. The moment you say his character would know this, he's automatically going to roll a one. He's automatically not going to know it! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm gonna give you this because I feel like uh, with the world I've set up, this is like passing knowledge. Um, the way that this thing, the the passageways are something similar to like muscle fibers and like connections to a a, a, a centered controlled system. In every sense, it's less a construct and more closely related to a war forge, where like machine and organic is used with magic to create a living being. So it, it, it this black staff is alive. Weird. Hmm. So black staff, do you remember <laughs> anything? I remember lots of things. And then it gets really sad. Ah, lots of things. Sadness. Do you remember meeting us? Yes! You okay. were all very scared and tired. Then you were all very nice. Okay. I mean, to me, you were all really bad to each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where are you um, I'm gonna put him on my other shoulder that my raven isn't on. It waves to your raven. Hello! Jesus Christ. <laughs> So how do we get you working at more than 50%? You would have to find more of those rongers because that's how you power everything here, including me. Can we take you away from this place? It pauses. I'm going to roll, actually. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> You don't want to break him. Yeah, I I don't want to be broken again. I already spent the better part of, and all of a sudden his voice goes uh like very very deep. Three hundred years being completely <laughs> unfunctional. That was not okay. <laughs> See, he doesn't want it either. Okay. No, you can't keep the puppy. What? Don't tell me what I can or can't do. <laughs> Why can't we keep the puppy? Because <laughs> we can't take him away from here. We don't know. Oh, can that. stay here. We don't want to oh. risk breaking him. We're gonna he stay here like, forever. He, he like starts putting his hand up like like a, a kid like is like holding up his arm with his other arm. I give him a high yes. five. Oh, that's not what I wanted, but thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, Jeez. I have an idea though. What? I mean, so. Uh, while running at 50%, I can actually, like, reroute, uh, how, how the magic gets sort of reconstructed here. So, I can rebuild the portal! But what? it can only go, like, so far. So you guys can always come back and visit me a lot easier. Before also, can... if you know how to use message. Um, I mean, we could take you with us, possibly. Wait, you remember how these I... work now? Yep! But partially, mostly. What did you? I don't know how. I, I don't know how to go to different realms of reality yet, but I know how to go to different places in this reality, mostly. What are they called again? Uh, it kind of looks at all of you and like tries to. Uh, it, this time it's thinking of how to explain it. How much do you guys know about the multiverse? Uh, we had a guy named Pegith, um, tell us he was taking us somewhere else, and then we killed him. And that's about as far as we got with Please that. do not do that to me when I go <laughs> explaining the multiverse. Have you tried to kill us yet? Yeah, he, tr he, he, he started it. Oh, okay. <laughs> we just he ended it, don't worry. Then he probably deserved it. He did. Yep. Sort of. Do you know the name Totally. Pegith? It, it like looks at you and like it has like that like robot version of processing. <laughs> processing. I do not recall such a name. Okay. 
So, uh, the multiverse uh, it has a lot of different theories. But the one that my creators came up with is that everything is connected to, like, a sea of stars. And you can easily travel to one or the other if you have the right kind of ship. The problem is no one really has that. Huh. Another way of doing it is, like, forming a magical bridge between one realm to another. So think of, like, if a bridge was, like, formed between here and uh, all the way over to uh, the Sea of Moonshay. Except it wasn't tangible, and it happened instantaneously. Cool. Your bliss is just, like, squinting at him doing the <laughs> galaxy brain thing. Like, she doesn't understand anything that he's saying, but she's trying really hard. <sighs> Uh, I'm gonna- I'm gonna see if, uh, Blackstaff notices. Natural 20! He totally notices! And he- he, like, puts his, like, little hand to his- to his face, and he, like, kind of strokes his chin. He goes... Um... Think of, like, if you closed a door, and then opened it again, but it wasn't the room you were in, it was somewhere else. I can do that, mostly. Uh, Kandor just looks at Bliss. It's like teleportation. Portals. Does well, Bliss yeah. continue looking at you like what? <laughs> portals. Yeah. Yeah! Now you're thinking with portals! I'm sorry I couldn't resist. <laughs> Thank you. So how far can we go at your current capacity? starts to process uh mostly within any of the tangible cities in Faerun oh and nothing overseas we don't we we, we we're not allowed there anymore <laughs> why not i don't know oh. okay i just know we're not supposed to go there at least not without ships. Oh, and guns. Oh. oh no. Um Are there well, guns in this world? <laughs> you guys can roll a history check. Uh sure I can do that. <laughs> I fucking suck at this game. Oh my god, <laughs> Thank you, Bliss. Guns? Yes, guns, please. Yeah. Uh, like Vor Vorton and Grandolf, you guys, but because of your lives, you've been very rigidly sort of like taught in a very specific like sect of understanding of combat and magics. So you've never heard of guns? Uh, Sola, you have heard of dealings of weapons that are it's something that your family would make fun of but the explanation by more simple creatures was a stick that shoots fire <laughs> and that really interested <laughs> that really interested your family until they realized they couldn't get a goblin to go into any more details so they just killed it fair, fair. savage bliss oh no no it knows about the secret weapon of the thieves guild <laughs> Oh, no. It knows! You must kill it. <laughs> How does it know? She's just like staring at it like... What are you? <laughs> Do you say that out loud, the what no. are you? No, no. Just... Okay. Above game, I was just gonna make him say, I don't know. <laughs> or just make him say, I am I am codenamed Blackstaff. Something stupid. I love him. <laughs> Well, and Does this means gonna... Bliss can get a gun. Oh, can I have a gun? <laughs> we, want, we don't want Bliss to have a gun. Yeah, no, yeah like we're, not, we're not we're not letting you have a gun. We specifically don't want <laughs> Bliss to have a gun. <laughs> Do not give the child a gun. What about a child? You uh, act like one. <laughs> I'm gonna like turn to Blackstaff and be like, so, Mr. Little Shadow Man, uh. I'm Blackstaff. Yes, and you're Shadow Man. Uh, that's your nickname, buddy. He gets really excited. It's like, oh, oh my God. I get another nickname. 
Um, could you change the uh, area to protect the orb as best you can? Oh, I can do that already, even without much power. Pretty much all of everything that I am was being directed to solely making sure that other people couldn't get here. On purpose. I mean, that's fair. Um, I would like to just see if we can take you away from here. And if you start malfunctioning, we'll bring you right back. But I would like to just check. Hmm. Roll, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say this. He kind of looks at you, realizes that you're really just curious to like test things out. And he's <laughs> just like, okay, cool. <laughs> just, just, just know that if I start to malfunction and potentially die, there will be no one here to help protect this, and I don't know what's gonna happen. I mean, we're, I'm not gonna let you malfunction if it have you even start talking funny. We will bring you right back. Before you take him away, what are your defensive capabilities? <laughs> uh, and like it starts processing. That is. Hmm. Can I trust you guys? I mean, you've trusted us so far, so I don't see why not. That is a fair logic. In for a penny, <laughs> in for a pound. Do you guys know about the Feywild? Uh, yes. Do we know about the Feywild? <laughs> I'm going to say, in, in, in canon, you guys do know of the Feywild, and that it's All basically, right. like, in between the material plane and its own plane of existence. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yes. yes. Sure. I can do that. But much smaller. Oh. Cool. That is the only defense that I have because I don't carry swords or guns. I mean, or they magic. would be very tiny swords. <laughs> it like puts its hands out and like squeezes its hands. Yes. I I could be a very tiny nuisance. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay, I want to start walking just away from where we're at, like, where we came from, to see if he starts having any kind of, like, changes. Alright, I'm gonna roll something here. Because if he like does, also... <laughs> I mean, if he does, we need to know, like, how far he can go, because what happens if someone finds him and tries to steal him for whatever reason? Uh, how are you marking it? Are you marking it, like, on the ground as you're walking? I mean, he's probably doing, like, the, um, counting his steps as he goes. I was actually, yeah, he's basically poke, he's poke walking it right now. He's like yes. counting how far you're going. And by the time you get about like 30 steps away from like the main area of uh, the Far Flun's encampment, he just go, suddenly he just stands up really quick and in a very deep voice, you just hear, uh, connection lost, returning back to base. And then the body just gets flung <laughs> like a fucking rocket back to the center. And you just guess, you guys just hear like little squeaking noises as like the body kind of like falls to the ground and he sits up. <laughs> Don't do that again. <laughs> so why were you... Yeah, just... Oh. I was just going to say, I walk back and I'm like, yeah, thir 30 steps, that's not very far. <laughs> so why were you able to go so far before? It probably oh. wasn't in, in this form. Uh, he actually, like, puts, like, his, his finger to his face. It's actually a really complicated thing that I don't think you guys would understand, not because you're dumb, because I'm complicated. I think the best way to explain it is it was in the encampment's best interest for me to be able to cover as much ground as possible. Now that me and the Ranger are back in sync, it doesn't want me being too far away. Hmm. And then it just kind of chuckles. <laughs> uh, we have abandonment issues. Uh. Poor little guy. So, for your little teleportation thing, is it just you're creating a door? Yes! What is your rate of error? 
<laughs> Savage. It, 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 it processes. No, I like the wording of this. It, it begins to process, and then, like, very slowly, it puts its hands up near its mouthless face in a expression of concern. Oh. We walking, bitches. I feel <sighs> that I can directly teleport any of you with a 60% chance of safety to any of the major cities in Faerun, given that they have not changed location in the past 300 years. Uh... <laughs> have any like, of the cities changed location in the past 300 years? I mean, Baldur's Gate is completely destroyed, so I would count that as changed. <laughs> yeah, we know that. He's gonna end up putting us like in a wall because like a house was built where he knows to put us. Oh, no. Are we able to mark new destinations for you? Hmm. As long as you guys can get a connection to some kind of teleportation circle in a, in a certain location, I can link into that. There we go. What if we don't know if there is a teleportation circle? Your insides might become your outsides. Sweet. Ugh. I have no insides. Ha 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 ha. You have no gold. gold. <laughs> the gold just explodes every... Dude, you guys, if you guys think about that, like, he's actually a very powerful secret weapon when you think about it. No, no. That's not not when it comes to just, gold. Just fucking teleport me somewhere and it just explode. Just full of rocks, yeah! <laughs> um... I, Shadow Man, is there a um, a safe anywhere, or anything that could become a safe? It kind of uh, does like this, like little posing, like a kid. Whenever you hear it, say, whenever it hears you say Shadow Man, it really likes that name. Good. Shadow Man. I could construct one. Could you do that for me? Sure. It needs to be sizable. We have a lot of gold we need to store. It it like light like it lifts up its tiny little leg, and without much f like much f like force, it like stomps on the ground, and this large piece of the ground just shoots up and opens up, like this big stone, uh, box just shoots up from the ground and is just like sticking up from the ground now. Um, is can... this gonna be big enough? Do I think it's gonna be big enough? You guys have a lot of shit. I'm gonna say for the for the simplicity's sake, yes, he made something big enough for you guys to put that in. Yeah. By literally just like stepping down. Um No, it's it's above ground and it's like its own separate thing. It's not still attached to the ground, is it? Uh, it's enough to where there's, like, a flooring inside, but it is still standing in, like, a specific position. Um, either you could talk to Blackstaff or investigate to see further. Uh, I'm just gonna ask him, can we move this to a different location? Sure! And it steps on, it, like, kind of does, like, it's stepping on, like, a dance pad. It steps mm -hmm. forward, the thing goes into the ground, steps up backwards, another... Bo big stone cube pops up somewhere else in the courtyard. He just kind of keeps doing this until you tell him okay. to stop. Okay, okay, okay. Um, and I'm just gonna, like, have him tag along, and I'm gonna, like, use my portable house key and take him into the little cabin and see if he can make a safe in there, or a safe that can be put Can you take in him there. into the little cabin? Just don't close the door, right? I was well, about to say, do, yeah, if you don't close the door, you actually notice that, like, he seems perfectly okay. Yeah, I mean, I'll leave the door open. I just would like a safe in this room <laughs> so that we can have it Ooh. wherever we need it. <laughs> this is neat. Is this your place? Uh, it is now. <laughs> <laughs> I do not know. want to know the details of that. Well, you know that guy, Pagath, that tried to kill us? Oh. Yeah. It's mine now. Neat. Um, it tries, like, stepping on different parts of the wooden floor. I have absolutely no power here. Could we make a safe and put it in here, or no? 
kind of looks around. I feel that would go against the entire aesthetic of this room, but I can do it. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, we, we can we can cover it up with a cloth. It's okay. <laughs> it, it's one eye kind of slowly blinks and looks at you. <laughs> Roll an inside check. Hang on. <laughs> it is, Blackstaff is judging your sense of style immensely. I mean, have you seen his outfit? Wait a minute. Is this just <laughs> you know, say what? Can can't you just imagine a safe room in it? Yeah, I was about to say if is that this how is that works? This is just one room, but Pagath had multiple rooms attached to it. Mm -hmm. Can I change the layout of it? I'm going to say this, uh, every time you're out of the room, you can spend 10 minutes to focus and, like, sort of reattune to the key to change what the inside of the room is. Is it just, does it have to be one room, or can it be, like... Uh, it, 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 it can be multiples, and, like, the bigger the change you're trying to make, the longer you'll have to spend, like, focusing to reconstruct okay. it. Like, it's basically like you're playing The Sims in your own mind. Mm. <laughs> yes. Okay, um, I'll just shoo him out. I'm like, okay, never mind. I I think that after like thinking about it for a few minutes, like, I, okay, we won't change the aesthetic of the room. Okay, Shadow Man? Uh, and he just goes and like sits down somewhere to like concentrate and like figure out a layout. He's going to be concentrating for a while. So, just later okay. on. <laughs> uh, as you start to do that, uh, Black, uh, I'm going to call him Shadow Man because I, I like that's a cute name. He yeah. actually... Shadow actually, like, kind of looks at you and then looks at the key. He's, like, eyeballing it really hard, and then he looks at you and says, Can I really come with you guys on adventures? I don't know that you can. Hypothetically, if I could... I mean, if you could, I would take you. Can I see that key? Uh... I'm gonna, like, hold on to the necklace that it's attached to but I'll let him hold the key he begins slurping it like it's spaghetti ah. I'm just um what are you doing <laughs> he was like I'm trying to do something okay and like the him. the key like do you try to like pull the key away from him no I mean he'll just do that for a little while I'm just gonna start concentrating He's concentrating it. on the key that's in he's, the He's he's eating the key. He's, <laughs> I, to make this more clear, he's eating the actual key while it's still connected to your necklace. Okay, I'm holding on to it very tightly before, and I pull it a little bit. I'm like, can you explain what you're doing, please? Oh, um, I don't know if this would work, but I'm wondering if I can attune to the key using the Ronger and connect this, and like he points to the key, to all of this. So that way, we're not technically ever far away from each other. Adorable. So, so you're turning <laughs> this into a teleportation key as well. Its eyes go really wide. Oh, my God. oh that's entirely what I'm doing. <laughs> so basically, um, you would not have I'm... access to the house then? I would have access to everything here. And everything here is he, like, pats the key. Okay. Okay, I'm like, I think I see what he's saying, and I'm like, I'm gonna pull the key off the necklace, and I'm just gonna be like, if I don't get it back, I will be very upset, and I will revoke your nickname. <laughs> he, 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 and I he, hand it to him. <laughs> he looks at the key very focused, like he's taking this super seriously. <laughs> I would, I would, I would, I would very, very much like, like to watch, watch this happen, okay. um, just, just from like an intellect, and try, and try to like figure out, figure out what, what the fuck he's doing in order to do this. He looks at the key for a really, really long time, and then like he gets like little like black sharp teeth, and his like the top part of his head just kind of opens up, and he just eats the key, he just shoves it down his gullet, and then just clamps his head shut. That's unfortunate. Can I arcana that? Do I know what the heck he's doing? The the best thing I can do for you guys right now is that this is technology and magic beyond your age. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jot, jot down, down notes. 
it's it's gonna kind of like move its head around and then kind of like it just like shakes and jitters a little bit. Blah! And it like shoots the key onto the ground. Um, does the key look different? Yes. Now it looks uh like it still sort of has like this very uh rich design to it. It's like the golden key has like these really specific etchings of a bunch of different languages and uh, different hands of different creatures sort of like etched all across it. Uh, it was a shiny, you know, glass key. Now it's golden with etchings. How, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, um, as long as it's like shiny, uh, Kandor's just looking at it with like big anime eyes of like, ooh. <laughs> Do I notice the different languages on it? Uh, you know what? You can go ahead and roll an hey. investigation check there. Do I notice them? Because I can read any written language. I thought you were anime-izing at it. I was. <laughs> <laughs> I can anime-ize and then look at it. Grandolf, for every language that you know, you immediately recognize a lot of, like, these sort of, like, magic symbols. And you sort of, like, see that a lot of these symbols, like, are purposefully written and bleed into another language. Some you know, some you don't. Uh, Kandor, you can make out the origin of all the languages, and you see the same thing. Like, this is like a whole mixture of magic from every understanding of life. And now, uh, Shadow is just, like, jumping up and down. It's like, try it on a door! I want to see what happens. Uh, I will go try it on the same door that I was using earlier. Okay. You open up, and as you open it up, you see, uh, the courtyard to, uh, the, like, where the, the Ronger and everything is. Like, you're seeing, you actually, like, see yourself in the distance. Okay, so it's a back home. It just teleports us straight here. Yeah. And, the, and, then, and then he starts jumping. Shut the door again! I'm gonna shut it. Open it again! And open it. And now it's the cabin. Okay. Uh, and, and, just... and in fact, when you actually look into the cabin, you actually see through the window uh, that same view of all of you in the distance. <laughs> oh, God. Is it... Has that cabin, cabin like, popped up anywhere surrounding us? It has not. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Everyone can roll an Arcana check if they want to on that. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm so done with rolling tonight. Jesus. Right? <laughs> what I would suggest doing is, like, that little, like, the, the green square next to your, your character name at the bottom there. Like, click change. that and change it, because that will it was, reset your dice. It was already blue once. I already oh, changed it. <laughs> you can you change, change it again! <laughs> um, colors. I'm gonna go red. Sola and Grandolf, both of you are just like, this is breaking reality as I understood <laughs> it up until this point. Pretty much. Uh, yeah. Kandor, Bliss, and Vorton, you all kind of go like, oh, so it literally just combined the two magics of the thing. Cool. Yeah. And I'm just going to look at him. It's like, so when I open it and I think about the cabin, it'll give me the cabin, right? Yes. Cool. Thank you. And I'm going to pat him on the head. I'm helpful. Give me water. Uh, I would like to try something if it is okay. at all possible. Uh, what do you um, do? So you said that this cabin now has windows, right? Yes. Where before it did not. Yes. Okay, I want to walk through into the cabin and then open up a window. You open up the window and what you see is sort of like, from your perspective, you're literally looking, you're still looking at the same view, but now your head is uh, poked out of the window and you kind of look around to your left and right and right under you is the Ronger. And as you kind of look around, you realize, like, your head is, like, poking out of nothing. <laughs> I'm going to wave. Out Do of I the see a disembodied head? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say oh for god. fun, you all see this. Oh my god. Amazing. 
Now these okay. things are intrinsically always connected to one another, and the key can go somewhere, and I don't have to. But you guys can always come back, or I can come to you in a, a moment of emergency. Uh, I'm just gonna like pick him up and walk in the cabin and close the door. Oh, okay. <laughs> he he just sort of like sees the door close and goes. Okay, bye! And he, like, starts walking inside the cabin, and he sees you, Sola. <laughs> He's like, hello! <laughs> I see. Okay, um, so it's okay? <laughs> and then he kind of, like, hops up, jumps out the window, and is now back in the courtyard. Amazing. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna, like, just leave, and so, you can teleport to the cabin at will, yes? Mm-hmm. Okay, that works. Now you can come with us, Shadow Man! He be, he looks at the portal, and then jumps like literally like this little tiny thing like defies gravity, jumps in the portal, is back in the cabin, kicks <laughs> open the door, and he just keeps running like through the portal through the cabin. It's <laughs> like I can make an obstacle course. Oh my god! Uh, when he runs by me at one time, I would like to try to like pick him up by the collar. I know he doesn't have one, but you know what I mean, like yeah, like when you like pick him up and it's called like the little like uh the little like ooze of like his body stretches with them. He's mm -hmm. like, oh, I'm going up now. <laughs> uh, well, thank you. That is extremely. Helpful. You have definitely deserved your nickname. Uh, he smiles at that, and you all deserve nicknames too. I will oh, work God. on them. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Do you do you remember our names? It's, it begins processing. <laughs> uh -oh. Did we even introduce ourselves to him? I did. I don't know if you rude motherfuckers did. I don't recall. It's been I, too long. I I vaguely remember that Sola, Grandolf, and Vortun did, but Candor and Bliss, you both kind of fucked off into the woods before you really did much of that. Well, you know. Sounds like us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he, he points that out, but mm -hmm. he but he does go, and I think your name is Candor, and I think that person's name is Blitz, because I pay attention. Oh, good, good boy. And I pat him on the head. <laughs> this is Candor's new pet. He's just adding to the collection, you know? Oh, it's a group pet, thank you. Um, it okay. is your group mascot, thank yes. you. Yes, okay. Okay, yeah. sure. Candor just, like, holds him against his chest. Like, a, like, a, like if, if he was an actual puppy. He he kind of, like, sits on your, your hands and kind of, like, his head, let, rests his head on your chest, like the back of his head. He's just, like, looks outward. Mm -hmm. Do we Do have, we have like, like, a map of where we are at all? Uh, I'm going to say that since you all have lived on this continent all your lives or are just educated enough to know it, uh, you guys know that you guys are, like, way south at this point. Um, so you know that, like, unless you want to go to a whole new continent on Toral, you, you got to go north. Mm -hmm. Which uh, I have sure, notes for that. I'm sure one of us probably has a map. Um, um, I'm just gonna put a little block there. Yeah, that's like what the. I have a one unlabeled parchment. Hmm. <laughs> um. I feel like I was gonna do something, and then it just oh, it's gone. Oh. Yeah, you okay, guys are kind of like man. where where this like little purple looking square is. Is kind of like where you guys are. Yeah. Gosh. Don't put us all the way at the south edge. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna, like, take Shadow Man and be like, okay, let's go uh, redesign this uh, cabin, since you have the power to do that now. Yeah! I get gonna... to do decorating! <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to start scoping out houses in this little main platformy area as well that we're in. Okay. Uh, I want the better one. Hey. Ooh, you mean, actually, you don't want to stay in the cabin? God. I mean, that actually reminds think me of something. Let me check. I will, I will stay, stay in your cabin when needed, but I want. Well, damn. 
Okay. Let's fucking go. I'm gonna like ride up the thing. Sola, as you go to at, like one of the buildings that has sort of like reconfigured itself, uh, you open the door and there's just like nothing in there. And then uh, you you sort of hear like from across the way, it's like, oh. I don't know what you want your room to look like, so I haven't put anything there yet. <laughs> okay. Uh. Is this the better looking house? Oh uh, yeah, better house. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah like I'll, I'll say like you actually like go into like some like a little bit further away from the rest of the guys as you like find like an actual like house house. Uh, none of these buildings, I would say, have more than either a basement or a second story. You get the idea that the whole point of this entire, um, this entire, like, area was built for function and a little bit of comfort, not, like, okay. extravagance. What is, what is the most important-looking building here? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <Ooh. laughs> that doesn't exist anymore, actually. Okay. okay. What's the second most? Uh, what is the second? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say like with a little bit of like working, like you find like, like I think like Blackstaff like is just like walking with you guys as you guys are like po pointing out buildings. Uh, I'm gonna say this: you can design or like come up with like how big or small or whatever size of a building you get you're walking into. Uh... Well. She's gonna have outside a every yeah, because like everything is made out of like stone and uh, being like supported by vines and trees and whatnot. Like this is like everything on the outside is gonna be one thing, and thanks to him consuming the key, everything on the inside can be a completely different. I want the research lab that I was in before. Easy enough. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, is there any, like, buildings of function here? Uh, any of these buildings w that were once functional, like, they're literally just empty buildings now. You get the idea that whatever attacked the this place and these people either destroyed or stole everything. And then, of course, 300 years passed. Okay. Um, well, I want a castle. So you are not gonna. You can <laughs> castle on oh the inside, but not on the outside. Well, That's some realistic goals here. <laughs> can, like, I, can I get the start of a castle? You oh can get. Get the moat. Deal with it. <laughs> this is what I'll say. You can get a a very large room, which has like a little balcony on the outside that like gives you, like, a, a a big view as if you're, like, looking out from a castle. You can't see the rest of the castle or anything of structure there. It's like you're just seeing outside into an above, above uh, like, helicopter view look of uh, the far-flung city without an actual building being the rest of it. That's, like, the most he can construct right now. Okay. okay. Do, we, Do have we have any paint? Anyone? No, but you could oh probably God. make some. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to make some paint. How can I make paint? Uh, the usual way, magic. Uh, wait, does anybody have prestidigitation? Uh, yeah, I'm sure. I mean, literally, if you have, if you've got that, if you have that spell, you can literally just change the color of things for permanence. Yeah. <laughs> Do you use that solo? <laughs> Otherwise, you'd have to go out to the forest, f like, spend hours gathering berries and shit, and then making paint. And you might not even be very good at it. Um, uh, Shadow, Shadow Man, would you happen to be able to make any paint for me? I already built you a castle. I can't do any more than that. <laughs> uh, you me greedy. Uh, I am I, not being greedy. You want a fucking castle. You have a castle. I was going to section out a little area as a graveyard. Sure. You actually, <laughs> when you when you say that, uh, Shadow actually just kind of freezes up, like he doesn't know how to respond to that, and he just walks away from you. <laughs> um. Well, Basil, I sent you 
a note for uh, let me read that yes Candor's cabin plans <laughs> no. all right i will <laughs> i will thumbnail these yep basically he's just like what do you think would look good well what about this and it's just you know a form of him making things and can worry, okay, let me, like, go sit outside with the key and concentrate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's got big plants. Okay. Uh, at this point, what it really comes down to, and you guys can all write this in your notes, is that because of the, the magic of the city and the magic of the key have sort of, like, combined... If you only let the rooms themselves exist when you want them or when you're actively thinking of them, it's not hard for him to construct a lot of cool shit. But, like, a whole castle or building, he can't do that. Yeah. I mean, that's, uh, that's why I like the key. It's only yeah, there when it's needed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, otherwise, uh, he, he would explain that that doesn't take too much power. Thus, it wouldn't uh, put him at any risk of uh, shutting down by accident. But you're saying if I get you more of the magical doohickeys, you can build me a castle, right? I would rather you just actually get the materials and build your own castle. And I can help. Um, I just want to give him a high five when he says that. He jumps up and high five. Like he like he like doesn't like high five you. He puts his hand up and jumps into the high five. Yes. It's like I like you, Shadow. I like me too. <laughs> Okay. Uh, um. In this courtyardy area, you said that there was like pieces of like armor and stuff scattered about still. Very broken, aged, destroyed armor, but yes. Okay. Well, I'm gonna start kind of collecting them and piling them off to the side, just like gently and neatly. Okay. I'm not gonna make you roll like that. If you take your time with that, you can just do it. Y'all rude motherfuckers don't want to lay these guys to rest. <laughs> cool. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys. You're, You're all so useful. Uh, no problem. You know what? Sola, make an investigation check while you're doing this. Oh, nice. Uh, there is one piece of equipment that you notice that is too heavy for you to lift as you're uh, finishing up. And it looks like a very, like, large... The best way to explain it from Solo's point of view is if someone took a bunch of metal, carved out the inside of it into, like, small tubes, and put a bunch of those tubes together to make something you I just don't understand what it is. Above game, it is some kind of Gatling gun. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, like, this huh. looks alien to you, to say the least. Is it, like, connected to the ground? It's it's sort of like a uh, the actual spinning gaddle of an actual gun that just has fallen off or was torn away from its actual uh, gun pieces. Mm. Hmm. I'll bring Grandolf over here to kind of take a look at it. All right, Grandolf. Uh, I'm gonna God. say you can roll investigate. <laughs> you can roll investigation with advantage because you are being. Uh, you already had Sola like roll so high, so you guys are two academics are looking at this. But I didn't oh, even know what a gun was. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even know what a gun was earlier. <laughs> <laughs> it's all uh, to you now. <laughs> Grandolf, you are. Uh, uh, very similar to Sola, like, this is alien. This is something ancient and foreign, and I'm talking, like, not of this world, which leans itself to maybe, if you had any skepticism of what Shadow was saying, to being very truthful. Um, you do get the idea that, like, something is supposed to be shooting out of these tubes, and the way it spins, it's clearly like it's like an auto-reload kind of thing. Uh, the most that you're able to con consider is, like, maybe this is just a very complicated crossbow. 
Okay. Interesting. I'll like relay all that back to Celia. Okay. Um, I guess I'll just take out the notes that we were jotting stuff down on earlier and like kind of draw a little picture of the Gatling gun and write out what we think its function is. Okay. Auto so, crossbow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Auto crossbow, which. Uh, Grandolf, you have seen, like, the prototypes for, like, an auto crossbow, but those things are, like, the size of a, a even tall human and are about, are so heavy that even Goliaths have to, like, really attempt to lift these fucking things. And the, uh, the, the lines of bolts you need to have with it is ridiculous. You need, like, three people to, like, carry that with the bolt. Okay. Do we know, like, how old this thing would be? You... You know it has decayed due to the hundreds of years of it just being here? The age beyond that is just for... It, like, you just can't comprehend anything of, of comparison. Like, you know it's hundreds of years old of being here, but how long that technology by whatever's been using it? God, no idea. Mm hmm. You know, we know somebody who'd probably be very interested in all this neat old stuff, right? Mm hmm. Mm I would like to talk to Shadow Man while they were investigating stuff. Sure, sure. It was like, how how likely would it be for you to be able to teleport us to somewhere in Waterdeep? Uh, he begins processing. I can do that! Okay. That'll be our first goal. <laughs> and I'm just gonna, like touch where his nose would be. Like, tap him on the nose. His eyes get very big as he, like, slowly brings his hands up to his cheek. Yep. See, you guys think he's the party mascot, but he's Cantor's baby now. <laughs> <laughs> this is my- he's like, this is Shadow my Shadow is baby! <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, so you guys want to attempt to teleport to Waterdeep. Well, I mean, Kandor does. Kandor does. <laughs> Kandor yes. wants to go to Waterdeep. Are we able to... Are we able to move the cabin, or is the cabin always linked to where we are here? So, uh, again, like, if you're just trying to teleport to uh, the ancient city... It's just teleportation, basically, like, opening a door and jumping in, like you did originally with uh, Pagif. Uh, any of your rooms only exist when you're actively thinking of them and trying to get into them. So, <clears throat> here is what, basically, I'm thinking. Uh, would we be able to have the cabin... Uh, be, like, have the door to the cabin be opened, teleport the cabin somewhere and then jump out of the window into the place it would be more like the cabin you'd walk into a door yeah walk into the cabin think about wanting to go to water deep open the door the window to the cabin would still be showing off um uh the ancient city but when you opened the door you'd be in water deep oh, oh so, so it's wherever the castle yeah kind of like <laughs> castle Hey, that's the best kind. Yes. I'll I'll accept it because that movie has some really cool ideas. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I just don't like Howl very much. I mean, what? <laughs> I mean, he can be a little bit of an asshole. So. I mean, yes, but that's the best part of him is that he's a bit of an asshole. You he would say that. He does not I know have your no type. Parents. It's fine. Anyways. Anyways. <clears throat> Luna's gonna come for me later. It's like, what the oh, fuck? Yeah. You have a problem with Al? So, 
Ooh, so, time is coming. Wait, why are we going to Waterdeep? Because that's where Kandra's girlfriend is. Uh, no. That's is that where your outfit is? is? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and also, that's where Sestine is. Yeah. I mean, technically, none of us should go back there, but... Like, no one, definitely Kandor no and Bliss are okay. I, I wasn't yeah. really seen. Too, I was too never much. seen. It's just Grandolf and uh, I was just gonna call you Jiggles, but that's not your name. <laughs> Jiggles. <laughs> <laughs> what? Morten. I don't know. <laughs> to be fair, Vorton looks like a Dragonborn now, so no one's yeah. actually. Oh, true. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I, I think it was just because my brain went, yeah, you're filled with gold, so you jiggle when you walk, but that's, that's not it. <laughs> I thought that, uh, I thought that the um, captain of the guard bitch saw through our our illusions. She saw you. Oh. She never saw me. Well, gee. Hey, if I, I guess rec- it just yeah, if me, I remember then. correctly, I don't think they saw through your illusion. I saw, like, you were in, you were trying to be invisible, and she saw you through your invisibility. Okay. Yeah, that's what the the amulet was for, to, like, see invisibility. Oh, no, no, you're right, you're right. It was to... Wow, it's been so long, I don't remember anymore. I thought it's it was like just see-through, to see-through magic. Through magic. Yeah, it was see-through magic. Like, so invisibility, that's right, because it was either either invisibility or... Um, disguise self. Disguise self. So, yeah, so, like, Bliss, you've been found out. And maybe <laughs> Grandolf, as far as you guys know, but everyone else has a good cover. Yeah. Well, then, I guess I'll just stay here. We can I hang mean, out and ugh. learn about each other. Just, uh, he just looks at you and like, You guys you can, can hang literally... out, talk about boys. No. <laughs> I'm gonna hard pass on that. Why not? I want to talk about boys. <laughs> Bliss just <laughs> <laughs> got like a look. Like, don't <laughs> fucking talk to me. Oh my god. What I ever do to you, woman? Kandor is just gonna look at Bliss and it's like, don't go back to that house and disguise self. You can go to town, Jesus. You act like you've never fudged a job before. And he's like, and then he just looks quietly. He's like, I mean, we haven't fudged a job before. Ever. Cough, cough. <laughs> Bliss just gives him a look like, no, we haven't. I know, that's why I'm saying we've never done it. If you just go out in disguise, you should be okay. Um, question though, while they're having this discussion, can I flip open my book and look up to see if there's anything located in Waterdeep that I know about for my magic book? Uh, are you specifically looking at the the list of those statues I gave you, or are you looking for something different? Uh, well, yeah, we'll look at the statues first, and then we'll just look at, like, if there's anything of note located in Water Waterdeep. Sure, here we go. Uh, let me look through my notes here. Do, 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 do. Da, da. Uh, nope. There's nothing from the statue list that specifies anything that's still in Waterdeep. Okay, and then just general magic items. Is there like a short list for Waterdeep at all? Um, you go through the book and you realize that a lot of the book is more like legendary items that have either not been discovered or aren't like common. So nothing specifically is there about Waterdeep having anything too important that either someone already hasn't found and sold. Okay. Uh, does it have anything on the list of best prices for this area? Uh, that is not what the book is for, so no. You gave me best prices for greater potions of healing and silvery moon. Because it has Pagus notes all over it, right? Uh, it's true. I did do that. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I will roll, and we'll see about that. I mean, yeah, he might only have notes about certain things. Uh... I'm going to say that he his notes give you some ideas for some of the shops, but they also seem to drastically change due to either season or the passing on from 
one person to the other. Your best option you can get through these notes is just to go to Waterdeep and talk around. Look for something specific and see who's got it. You do know this. Uh, from how much Pagif seemed to keep writing new prices down, bartering might be an option with a lot of these places. Okay. I am not good at that, so I will leave it out to Candor. Um, <clears throat> actually, you know what? He was the only one who wasn't able to buy anything. That's maybe not a good idea. Um, <laughs> uh, excuse me. <laughs> we have so much fucking money now. I'm just gonna flash my kind of cape just ever so slightly, and then continue looking at my <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna just pull Shadow Man outside, and I'm gonna whisper to him, and I'm like, Sola doesn't get a room in the cabin. She has to sleep on the fucking couch. Or on the floor. Uh, he looks to you, he looks to Sola, he looks to you, he looks to Sola, and he says, I can't do that. That would be mean. Ha! <laughs> she already made you build her a castle. She could just stay here. I mean... I'm not taking away her fake castle. That I, I know. You're just taking away her room in my cabin. I can do that. Yes, thank you. I don't know why she'd want to be in a cabin when she has a castle anyway, but whatever works for you. <laughs> hey, that's what you get for being a bitch to Candor. <laughs> hey, don't be, but, don't be a bitch to the... not petty. Right. I was like, that is his most defining feature, is his pettiness. So are we going to go to Waterdeep and buy things? Uh, yes. Should we probably yeah. get the scrying spell Fine. off of all the money first? Yeah. Yes. Yes, we were going <laughs> to talk to you about that now. Oh. Because... I think there's, pro there's very likely a lot of uh, detect magics on the money... Can I see it? <laughs> Meanwhile, Vorton's just like, and yeah. all the gold comes <laughs> take off my helmet. And it's like something like, like, casually yeah. slide a little bit of my money that I got from Vorton over. Uh, he he looks at the some of the money that you stole and he goes, Yep, this is super scryed. Can you do something about that? scans it uh how much of this do you have <laughs> 650, let's just breaks into laughter because yeah. we have a lot of it <laughs> i would need a lot of time how much, uh, well, you, how much can you do right away let's roll for that because i mean if all of my plans worked out for the cabin, there's a safe in there. <laughs> so we don't have to take it all. And I'm pretty sure they can't find it in the fucking cabin. I can do 70 golds worth a day. Wow. That's better than nothing. That, Optimist. Don't we have, like, hundreds of thousands of gold. Wait. 650,000, exactly. We also mentioned that a lot of these were like platinum and gold bars. So, would it be feasible that he could like, you know, do a whole gold bar? It's one thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, w I would say that like, if he actually like, just was scrying a bar of gold, like as an item, yeah, he could, he could potentially do that. Like, I'll, I'll say this. Uh, he can do, I'm going to say, whatever brick or of coins you give him. It more depends on, like, what you're giving him item by item. Because he basically has to cast Dispel Magic over and over and over again at very high levels. Fun stuff. Well, we can store the gold in the safe, and then he can just do it in his, like, leisurely. Yeah. He can just spend all his time trapped in a safe with lots of money. <laughs> <laughs> and God, I hope he doesn't lose count of which ones he's dispelled magic on. <laughs> we can have two safes. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm, glad you said, I'm glad you said that, because here's the thing. If you actively told him to put all of his focus in doing that, he would totally lose count. <laughs> he would totally forget which ones he did. 
Uh-huh. I'm pretty sure that if he can tell that there's magic on it, he could look at two piles and be like, that one doesn't have magic on it. Yeah, but I'm going to tell you right now. You Still know how funny. He, you He's know how, essentially you a know how he would do it? You know how he would mm-hmm. do it? He would go, this brick doesn't. Move it. This brick does. This brick doesn't. And it would just be all like that for hours. Yep. Awesome. That's okay. Um, um, do we want to make like, a little a child, sorting we? system? A magic child. Thing? I mean, we have a safe. We can adjust the inside of the safe if we need to. Just have like. Could we make two safes? We could put half. Okay, so we could build the safe so that half of it is elevated, and when he's done with the thing, he just drops it off the side, and then everything on the bottom is done, and then everything on the top is not done. I think we should do it the opposite way because a hundred percent gold's gonna spill. We have six hundred and fifty thousand dollars of gold. Candle is just like, we're gonna have a shelf, like a really big shelf, a couple shelves on one wall, <laughs> and more shelves on the other wall. One side is going to be like a label, stolen money. The other side is gonna be <laughs> clean money. You mean laundered <laughs> money. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd it, make, it like, becomes a not stolen middle. once it's not tra- trackable. Well, no, no, no. Do we wanna, um, like, don't put stolen, put like, Dirty money. Borrowed. Because <laughs> stolen. <laughs> listen, listen. Means unpolished, stolen. unpolished money. Yeah, polished that could money. be worse. <laughs> oh. Fortun, as they're all discussing this, <laughs> how is our paladin like? Because oh. you're st- you technically still have all the gold. You didn't give them anything yet. Basically, I mean, it's I mild labor, labor, but we're not going to go into that. You guys just have Vorton in the safe. I I just know that this is for the greater good, and I shouldn't <laughs> think about it too much. And I also know I should probably get the gold out of me if I'm going to go anywhere soon. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look at Candor. Just be like, so safe. Yes. Um, I will. I will just like walk him inside the cabin. And you should decide how much of my ideas for the cabin are going to work. Yes, I do have those. Yeah. This is a lot. Do I have a bedroom in the cabin? Yes. The only one that doesn't is Sola because she wanted to be a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Sadness. Yep. Uh, I will say that uh, with the amount of time you took focusing on this, uh, you were de- like, you will need to take like a long rest to get everything you've listed like at least oh, yeah. spacious wise but mm-hmm. he the very least you have a separate room for a safe yep okay so for right now you can just i'm uh, just gonna like walk him in close the door behind us so that no one else can like follow and just be like you can dump it in this room and it will be more organized later <laughs> i can do that well i meant like i was taking vorton in there Gosh. Oh, sorry. He's You're the one that has the gold. Basically. <laughs> what gold? No. Yeah. Shadow Man can come with us, of course, but you know. I, I've, I'm going off the <laughs> idea he, you haven't put him down, technically. Okay, that's better. I'm just still holding him. It's great. Yes, I will. I will. As carefully as I can, start taking the gold out and putting it neatly where I can. Yeah. <laughs> Just, can't we just, can't we just pull like a school bully and like grab him by his legs and shake him and pull all that crap? Uh, yeah, I can't work can assume they like, can just regurgitate stuff at will. Yeah. Um, but Candor will help you stack it neatly. I'll, I'm gonna ask this. Vorton, does it look like you're just puking out gold or do you like lot, like rip your neck off and just have all this money running out of you? <laughs> Ran them puking out gold. You, you just you just see Shadow clapping his hands, laughing, saying, This is disgusting. <laughs> now dump all the all the stolen gold that I have. Yes. You are now empty. Well, I have a rapier, a dragonborn longsword, and still five hundred and sixty four gold in me, but why okay. do you have that much gold in you? 
Because I fucking scammed a bunch of rich people, okay? Oh, right, you did. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, for the sake... Who took the 100 gold from you earlier? Kandor. Me. Yeah. Okay. We'll deposit that back. Well, no shit. He's already done it. I already wrote it down. Okay. Can't get my outfit yet, Dan. I will keep. I will keep track of how much gold we have, of course, mostly because I have mm -hmm. that written down already in me, but um, it won't be in me. Okay. <laughs> I would like to go into the room as well. Uh, it's closed. Can I not open the door? I can say you can knock on the door, but like with it, with everyone having like their own like little mini pocket room that they can have, like you have to get access from the originator first. Okay, I would like to knock on the door. I'm just gonna like open it and peek out and glare down at the tiny solo. Okay, yes. I have uh, uh, about a hundred gold worth of bars that I need to put in there. That I we remember we took some stuff for our personal stashes. We mm, um, that cleaned as well. I, mm, I don't remember that. No. Shifty eyes. Shifty eyes. What do you mean you don't remember that? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh yeah, I guess we did squint. take personal stashes. <laughs> yeah, we need to get that cleaned. Can I insight? Is he a lying motherfucker to me right now? Oh, 100%. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna let you two decide that, yeah. I mean, if you want me to roll something and you want to roll insight, you can. You guys are in the room talking about it. There's Bliss no reason to roll. Bliss is gonna run up and go, Kandor, I have stuff to stash, can I? I'm gonna let Bliss in and then just make sure <laughs> Sola stands out. Bliss just kind of sticks her tongue out at Sola as she walks <laughs> into the house. Uh, I will roll Deception, because I need to see. I got a 14. Right, He's 14. my best. Roll an Insight. Sadness. Sadness. Um, Unfortunately. Huh. Well, I mean, I have money I need to put in there. So, you're saying that you're gonna offer to give me money to buy the rest of my suit. That's what I'm hearing? Well, that was a jump. <laughs> I mean, if you're not offering that, you can go and just store it in, you know, your, uh, your castle over there. Savage. Why do you need money? We're all rich! I can't use that money. It's It's got magic on it. This is... No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. I just want to believe that when Kandor says that, like, they do that kind of, like, waggle finger, like, ew. Like, it's got magic on it. <laughs> okay, wait a sec here, though. See, the personal stash of gold that I have also has... is also dirty money. So I, I cannot give, give you the gold to get to let, to let you buy your suit because it's still dirty money. I'm just gonna like turn around, I would. like yell I into would. the house. I have 15 gold on me if you want to extort me, <laughs> but like <laughs> that is all that I have currently on my person. Vorton, like, can I borrow some like, the gold? Person has it is Vorton. <laughs> Vorton, armored accountant. <laughs> <laughs> Vorton, can I borrow some clean money? I'm the bank now, I see. So what do you what do you have as collateral? Vorton just like me, like opens up his neck, pulls out like little <laughs> little glasses and puts them on his face. <laughs> what do you your cat as collateral? No, it's like what do you have as collateral? And it's just like you have a bedroom in here. You can keep it, or you could also sleep on the floor. I don't sleep. Okay, well, I you mean, can keep it, or you can just stand. <laughs> Someone's abusing their power What do you right have now? as collateral? You have nothing on me, so... Okay, that's cool. Okay, sorry, Solo, you have to stay out. How much gold did you want? Um, he needs, like... A hundred-ish? Yeah. 100 gold. For what do you need it for? Oh my god. For his outfit! <laughs> oh, I'm still waiting for him at Waterdeep. Will you pay me back? 
Well, yes, I have, we have the money. I just need to wait for it to get clean. Hmm. I see. I, I turn to a tiny one whose name I forget all of a sudden. Blackstaff. I go, um, can you please witness this? That Kandor is going to pay me back 100 gold. <laughs> I, will keep, I will keep it in my memory. Thank you. And his eye gets, like, really big. He just, like, watches both of you really intently. <laughs> okay. Kandor, if you, if you, as long as you pay me back 100 gold, I will give you 100 gold. He just put, uh, he just puts his hand out. Yep. Is, is Vorton going to come after him with a baseball bat if he does that? <laughs> Now, now, listen. Vorton's a little classier. Like, he's not gonna come up with a baseball bat. He'll he's got a with a divine smite. Yeah. You just, you just hear echoing as a dragon roars in the background. Bahamut wants his money, Kandor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will give you a hundred of my personal gold as long as you pay it back. Yes. Shake on um, it. <clears throat> He's going to shake your dragonborn hand. Is this... Is the door still closed, or is it open? This has been done. It's, like, cracked open. Okay, well, I would like to walk in and put the hundred gold worth of bars completely uh, onto the He's bottom. gonna put his foot at the door so you can't open it. Force your way in. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna yeah, roll an athletics, both of you. See if you can like. You're so mean. You want to be fair? He's got like three feet over. You. <laughs> <laughs> so just come uh, minus one. You, you take a couple steps back, spread out your wings, and with the propulsion of your full body, you just vibe check the door and can door in one shot. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm going, going to put, put the, the money, money away onto, onto the pile, pile neatly. <laughs> okay. Accountant, Accountant, please add that to the pile. pile. And that, yep. please mark that down as personal. 100 gold. <laughs> uh, Bizzle, do you, do you by chance have written down how much of my money is trapped? Because I don't remember. <laughs> Bliss is just standing in the safe looking at her money, and she can't tell what is trapped and what is not, and she's just staring at it. So much money. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> As you guys set up and put away your gold... Uh, also, I do like that one of you just did the math of, hey, 70 gold a day will take 25 years. <laughs> guys, it's an investment. Oh. Like, there you go. You guys are set. Yeah. Even though, like, between the six of us, it's only, like, 12 gold a person. Yeah, yeah can, can we actually... 11 and a half gold a person. <laughs> what is our... So, so it, the total originally was 650,000. So can we divide that by 6? 130,000 each. 500 130,000 each. 530,000 each out of 600,000. <laughs> like what? Okay. okay, so hang on. I wrote down uh... something. Um Bliss, Kidor, and Sola each got 40 gold bars and it said 100 GP worth each. Is that per gold bar? Those are my notes. See, the thing is, as you guys kept grabbing stuff and staying longer and longer, the like the couple of gold bars you guys personally pocketed are are I considered a part of that six hundred fifty because you guys stayed in the safe way longer than I expected you to, and you guys got rolls well, way higher than I expected you to. I mean, I mean but he had 650 in him. Yeah, they, they kept Ours stuff on their personal bag. stuff, and then you said you so, were they were able to shovel a total of 650 right. into me. So are we going to rick that all the fashion. money on us is not trapped? <laughs> no, no, it's it's still all scryed. Like, he'll so have so to how much of my money is my money, man? I need to know this! <laughs> I just, I just All right. If I, if I said between the three of you, forty gold bars total between the three of you, or each, 
I chose those 40, so probably between the three of us. Okay. So, between the three of you, 40 gold bars with a, worth 100 gold, that's 400 gold, basically, between the three of you. I'm, I'm, wait? Okay. What? Okay. It's 1,000. Yeah. 4,000. Yeah, that's 4,000. 4, <laughs> this is why Vorton's the bank. Yeah. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm no, typing away. So. Okay, as long as you are writing this down, I like okay, that so, we're just such so, cheap asses that we're how are you guys, the DM. How are you guys <laughs> splitting 4,000 gold among me, each of you? Okay. I like that no one is, like, arguing with, like, the whole, like, how long it's gonna take to scry situation. I'm glad, like, as long oh. as one argues with that, I don't care how much money you have, you're gonna get it funneled slowly. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes, it matters, because we need to know how much total well, we to have. Well, to be fair... <laughs> I'm oh not- I'm not God. splitting the gold up. <laughs> That's 1,333 <laughs> Well, we'll cut that last gold into thirds. I mean, <laughs> okay. how about this? I'll keep that last gold for myself. I mean, that's, that's, that's payment yeah. for being the accountant. <laughs> yeah, 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 we'll get that have, one gold. Yeah. You can have that one gold. <laughs> is important. Yep. It's an investment, yeah. All right. So with that, are you are you guys satisfied with your with counting your winnings finally? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Don't worry. And I mean with whoever you try to use the gold with, as long as they can't, like, detect magic on it, they won't even know that it's dirty money. <laughs> I, so, you know, so. but, like, that would be fair, fair except, except for, I only want to, <laughs> Bank of Fortune. Um, I only want to use it, like, we don't, don't want to use it in Waterdeep, because that's where we stole it from. So if we're going to get yeah. in trouble, we're going to get in trouble really quickly there. Yeah. <sighs> okay, so is... So is that 100 gold part of the... Yeah, the ones that... Yeah, so don't okay. worry about... Just clean that yeah. one off. I had it written down as 100 gold each, but I didn't write how many bars I grabbed, so... It's okay. And don't forget, I also owe you money. Oh, yeah. Wow. Wow. Okay. Right, I forgot okay. about that. I see how it is. Welcome to D&D. &D. Tonight's session is tax evasion. What do you mean? Yeah. No. I borrowed money to get my suit. Yeah. Tax evasion and building houses. Magical houses. <laughs> That's fine. It's so exciting. It's magical castles, thank you, but okay. Nah, just I mean, for you. Yeah, you're... I, yeah, because I'm... Yeah. Anyways, um... Okay. Cool, you keep telling yourself that. I mean, <laughs> I will, but okay. <laughs> okay, we're going to Waterdeep now? Yep. You know what? Uh, I want to. I'm gonna change this campaign from far flung to friends in quotation marks. <laughs> yes. Yes. Last time on the friends campaign. We're just the far, far flung friends. Uh, I'm still not sure about me going back there. I got caught. <laughs> did you? Did you need anything while you? Well, did you need anything from Waterdeep? No, I don't even have any gold. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah. Shadow. Man, do you need anything? <laughs> Want some milk, some eggs? <laughs> Would you like anything? Kind of looks around and like ponders this. If they have a magical endless supply of magic formed in the ball in a big ball called a Ranger, that'd be great. I don't know what that would cost though. I, I mean, I'll keep my eye out. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna pat him on the head and I'm like. We'll, we'll, we'll watch for it, but... Uh, you should keep your both your eyes out. Unlike me, you have two. You're right, but one of my eyes has to keep an eye on you. Why? Because we're friends. <gasps> okay. <laughs> oh. Then I should do the same. And you see the one big eye, like, split into two. Oh. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> I am? Yes. Oh. Adorable. Just like tiny little fist pump. Yeah. Oh. 
Okay. <laughs> Candor Where wants you guys? to get his fucking suit. You want to go get your suit. So, uh, the people in question of whether or not they will be recognized thus far are just Bliss and... Uh, Randolph. Randolph. Yeah. This is the only two people that you are ha are able to confirm, like, might get noticed. So... So Bliss is going to put on a disguised self. Groundoff right. is going to read the magical books he has and wait for them to return. Okay. I mean, at least you have a room in the cabin. Notes. Let's see here. It's probably empty right now because it's going to take a while to get everything sorted, but at least there's room for you. Yay. I just need a chair. You might have to bring one in yourself or sit on the floor. I will bring a chair. <laughs> you mean Grandolf can't just conjure one because he's too good to sit <laughs> on the floor? Grandolf conjures a folding chair. Uh, <laughs> there's spells for making stuff like that, but I don't have one. I didn't feel like I would need one. <laughs> hmm. I I'm going to pull... I'm gonna I'm gonna pull Sola away really quick because we need to discuss something. Cool. They're plotting your demise. Probably. Uh, I mean, I'm not surprised. But Bliss will go full crazy if anything happens to Candor, so it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! Our team is falling apart. <laughs> Over money. I don't You're even care about the money. Because we're not even going to get, like, a usable amount per day. We're getting 11 gold per day. I mean, it's 11 gold we don't have to, you know, get ourselves. I could literally steal something and sell it and get more gold per you day. You can't steal anything. Oh, trust me. It's ill-advised, <laughs> considering you are. <laughs> you say trust you, but you'd roll on that one. I have invisibility, though. I can steal all the things. Uh, okay. And I can teleport away. Yeah, I have those spells, too. So. Exactly. So I can steal things. Would mm. it not be good for your reputation? I just have to not get caught. But you did get caught. <laughs> you were the one that got caught. No, I got caught because of a giant fucking walking armor. <laughs> I it's was true. fine until that. I was lying my way out of it, and then he fucking started sprinting. They're like, oh, isn't that your construct? I was like, oh, I guess I have to go now. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> <laughs> no, I convinced them because I saved the captain. She's like, oh, thank you. And I was like, yeah, you're welcome. And then they looked over and seen you running away. And I was like, oh, well, now I have to go. Oh no, I'm an insufficient wizard and I have lost control <laughs> of my creation. Uh huh. Hi. 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 Right. What, did, what did we miss? Uh, just blaming Grand each Dolph's other for shit. Grandolph's an insufficient magician. Grandolph cannot yeah. think on his feet. <laughs> yeah. I mean, unless, like, a big, muscly orc woman falls on top of you. <laughs> But like when, uh, when I'm excusing. I mean, <laughs> yeah, right. And he's like, um, "Oh no, I must." You leave could have done it differently too. Um. All right. So, are you guys wanting to poof over to Waterdeep? Then uh, I'm gonna ask Bliss, what are you going to disguise yourself as? A giant penis. I mean, wow. probably wow. not that. No, that would that would attract way too much attention. <laughs> Tiny penis. <laughs> Even uh, more attention. That, ironically, yes, that would actually attract more attention. <laughs> Bliss is going to disguise herself as... Grandolph. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know! She's going to disguise herself as friggin', um... Bree, what did you name that thing that you bought for me? What's I her name? What, what are you talking Sugar? about? Oh, yes. Yeah. She's gonna disguise herself as sugar. Which means you're probably gonna appear to be uh, just slightly shorter. Shorter and purple. 
I mean, like, Disguise Self. Oh, all the limits. I remember what you're talking about now. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, it's gonna look like you, but short purple. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, well, you can see one foot shorter. So, yeah, she is definitely shorter than you, probably. So, to my understanding is, Bliss, <laughs> you're disguising yourself by palette swapping and going a little <laughs> shorter. Yep. Yeah. I'm clearly a different person. Clearly. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, it's racist, racist to think that all two I was ab I was right? about to say, no, like, this is this is brilliant in its implicity, because what is a captain going to do? Like, there they are! It's like, Captain, that's just a random tiefling girl. Like, what the fuck's wrong with you? Uh, yeah, I would captain, like it's to like... Look. It's, like, it's the fucking forgot- it's the for forgotten era, ma'am, like, goddamn. <laughs> this is racism! You know I mean, to be fair, she's got different <laughs> horns. Yeah. She's got, like, yeah. more curly- but, like, one set of curly horns and a little heart tail. Let's say, the last time you saw her was probably when she was really young- or younger. Yeah. And she doesn't have dragon toes. Yeah, she's a little... So, you're gonna have fun with that. <laughs> it's gonna be weird. <laughs> mm -hmm. Your balance will be partially askewed. Yeah, okay, I shared an image. This is what Bliss is gonna look like. Yeah. Uh, yeah! Kandor is going to have a child for a little while. Kandor uh, now has two children. One he can't take with him, unfortunately, but yes. Uh, Alright, uh, as you guys get ready to hop into the portal, uh, are there any other last changes? I know, Grandolf, you wanted to look through your books, and enough time has passed that I don't remember if I actually told you what the what magics the books give you or not. Uh, yeah, I think you chose. Yeah, you just didn't tell me what spell I learned. Okay, so okay, so I do remember this. So what I came up with for you, Grandolf, is that uh, because I like... I like what you guys come up with. Um, as long as it's a spell that you can cast within your level, and, it, and it's within that type of spell that I told you, you can grab and copy one spell uh, and copy that into your book. Okay. I picked Transmutation for my first book, so I'll find something. Okay. Yeah, you can, like, find something else on your own. And then that way, because at the end of the day, like, you'll still have to prepare the spells, and you'll also have to um, actually, like, have the spell slots for them. And you're a wizard. You were already going to learn a million spells and take ten minutes in combat, so fuck it. We might as well get it over with. Yeah. Can't tell I don't like wizards. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I'll never, like, I'll never punish a player for picking a wizard, because that's dumb. It's my first magic play casting person ever, so <laughs> <laughs> everything's always like board and sword, so Yeah, because that's cool shit. Yeah. Uh alright, Grandolf, you stay behind and I'm just chilling in the hut thingy, my bob. Mm. If... The cabin. Yeah, that. Just and I brought my own chair. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh you guys uh hop into the portal, uh Blackstaff gets off of your shoulder. And just kind of waves to you guys as you uh, hop into the portal. And he, uh, his eye, both of his eyes actually seem to kind of like glow this really bright arcane light. As you guys see uh, the Ronger begin to spin and shift like it's done before. And right before you is a little sort of like uh, formless hole in the, in the air. And there's Waterdeep. Cool. Nice. As you guys hop through it, uh, I'm gonna roll a D100 as we're gonna see. <laughs> oh, yay! It was oh. bad! Oh. Uh, you guys get teleported as you walk into the portal, and uh, at, when the first person kind of like walks in, you just guys hear <laughs> as like his body starts to convulse violently. And you guys first were going into, like, what looked at the opening of Waterdeep. And you still are, but all of you are upside down. Oh. I need everybody to make a dexterity saving throw. Like, like, are we, um... Like, you're, like, a on couple... On the ground? 
Like, you're like a couple feet off the ground. You're just upside down, dangling in the air. <laughs> Where am I? Okay. Oh, I was in Vortan, it's a saving throw, not the dexterity check. Oh, oops. Yeah, you, you should have a better you... you should have a better number like a modifier for a saving throw usually. So you, so you might actually be able to to go ahead and roll again. All <laughs> right, uh, Vortun, you kind of like fall on your butt, but like it's just like a big thunk and you're done. Sola, you just imme like you you kind of panic when you realize you're upside down. You try to fly, you just, just spaz out, and you just fall on like the, your back, but your legs are like flung over your head. Uh, Bliss, and, Bliss and Candor, you guys just sort of like, oh yeah, gravity, fuck that, and you both just sort of land immediately. <laughs> cool. Cool. Candor just like audibly laughs at Solo, like. <laughs> okay, I proceed with plan. All right. <laughs> As he's <laughs> laughing at me, Candor, uh, roll an insight check, and don't worry about rolling a deception check, Sola. <laughs> I'm going to take care of this. Seven. All right, Candor, roll initiative with disadvantage. Uh, Solo, roll initiative. Jesus uh oh. <laughs> 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 I hit disadvantage and it only like rolled it once. That's okay. That doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Candor, you just see Sola like from that position readjust herself and with her wings. I'm assuming with your wings. Yeah. Yes. Just rockets forward, like going past you guys at a sp at a high speed, and you don't really get what she's doing. Uh, everyone else can roll an insight check if they want. Okay. Uh, Bliss. Oh, this is brilliant. Oh, this is great. Uh, Bliss, you guess she's a, really wanting to go get something really, really quickly. And then Vorton, you kind of think, I mean, we're here for Kandor's outfit. Maybe she wants to pay for it. Like, you're a paladin. You think the best in people. Maybe, like, she wants to stop having these arguments with Kandor and, like, wants to buy Kandor's outfit for him. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> so it's I mean, I don't know this. <laughs> So no, do either of you share like those thoughts with each other? No, no. I Bliss just kind of like tilts her head, like, "What the fuck is going on?" I have a pretty good idea what's going on. You're not scared, Austin. I know. Uh, yeah, I'm All just right. gonna like put my hood up and start walking around town. All right, uh, we're gonna cut over to Sola as you immediately uh, with. Your... You kind of are stumbling, like, kind of bumping into people because the initiative was pretty whack, but it wasn't as bad as can. I am flying. How is that possible? Oh, you're straight flying? All right, that's fine. Yeah. You're just so focused that you're just not not graceful, but you get there. Uh, you, in fact, get to the very shop that you all went to originally to buy outfits, and as I pull my notes up for that shop... Oh, do, 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 do. Uh, while I pull this up, because there is a little bit that I do remember off the top of my head, uh, do you just walk in, or do you, like, do anything else? Uh, I mean, I, I, I will land, land first, first, but yeah, but yeah I'll, I'll I, I assume just, that much. Yeah, <laughs> I'll pretty much just walk in. I'm pretty sure he put it, like, over to the side. Alright, as you walk in, uh, do you remember who were the shop owners the first time you went there? Uh... Yeah, it was, yeah, it was some Loxodons, right? Yeah, when you go in there, it's two Goliaths now. And you Im you immensely hear, Oh, hello! Oh, hello! It's you again! It's so good to see you again. Did you enjoy the party? <laughs> yes! Um... Can I Arcana check this? What the fuck? Yes, you can! <laughs> what? You know what, but there's some bullshit up in this building. Hmm. I mean, you do look a little different, but that's okay. Um, I was here for my friend's outfit. I'm here to pay for it. I know he put it aside earlier. It's a gift. 
Oh, that's so sweet of you. Yes, we'll go get it. Hans! There's like, there's like no, there's no voice. Yeah, do you have the one outfit for our guest? No, the other. No. Yes, that one. Oh yes, we have it ready for you in just a moment. Where? I love these and, guys. And uh, as as you um as the rest of your group, like this, I'm gonna ask this. Candor, Bliss, and Vorton, do you guys just distracted by anything, or Candor, are you beaming it right towards the shop? Like, you want to get your uh, outfit. Vorton. I want to get my outfit. I have been upset about this since I lost the chance to, so I'm going <laughs> straight for the shop. Just, just to say, to though, say, though, I, I have, have to, they have to walk through people. Yes, they do. Vorton so. gets easily distracted by weapons. <laughs> <laughs> but, Mom, I want to look at the swords! Uh, I'm gonna say this then. As so, you pay for the outfit, and uh, Candor, why don't you go ahead and, and retell us like what this outfit looked like? I'm sure. God. I think you. <laughs> it's been so long. I know. I'm uh, certain you have it in your notes somewhere. I, I remember there was a cage with stars. That's what I remember. Uh, it's basically a really nice suit, like a tux kind of suit. Um, but it's like, looks like the starry sky. He has a cape and at the bottom of it, it just looks like, kind of like it's, uh, or it's more like a cloak. It looks like it's like dripping and like cloudy, almost like the stars are like crying. And there's probably a top hat with it that kind of has like the same, or no, it'd be like a witch's hat that has okay. like a very, like star on the end. It's very spectacular. Yeah, that's yeah. That is what yeah. I have in my notes. I don't remember the witch's hat, but you know nope. what? Fuck yeah. it, that's cool. I like the I witch's hat. Any, I didn't have anything written down, so yeah. Yeah, so it was it was basically like the it, like you like you explained like it was very much a tux that like the the coat itself was like one of those more coat like jackets that kind of went down, but like mm -hmm. not like past uh, the back of your knees. And the whole jacket system was just like this idea of like stars and i like the idea of like the star like the shooting stars look so like i'll say like whenever you're moving it looks like the stars are like as you said crying or flying and like when you're just kind of like standing still like they're just kind of floating there and you know <laughs> what i like the hat you can keep the hat that's cool well we'll see if i can keep it yep as uh you guys this is what i want to ask <laughs> vorton Bliss and Candor, go ahead and roll a perception check for me. Oh. Perception. Oh, let me nope. 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 The swords! Yep. <laughs> Alright, uh, Sola, are you going to just walk out of the building like, no, like nothing's up? She's holding a suit that's bigger than her. <laughs> yeah, and that's what I'm asking. Like, are you yeah. trying to hide that? Uh, I'm just gonna put it in, into my bag. This is a one of a kind item, by the way. Yes. Uh, yeah. Perfect. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it is. It is in my bag. Can it fit in your bag? Well, the outfit can. I'm gonna put on the hat. Oh, oh he's gonna know. Oh, <laughs> Handor. <laughs> <laughs> You don't see the person wearing the hat at first. You just see the hat, and your heart sinks as you start to sit, think, no, they said they'd hold on to that for... And then the people like that were in front of you finally sort of like part, and you for a brief moment get a glimpse of Sola wearing your hat. Um, yeah. Do I see them? Roll a perception check for it. Oh, me. you have to roll, I think, at disadvantage. Because wow. I have my cloak on. Yeah, but you also yep. but you but she, but she could see Bliss and or Vorton, so I'm gonna say standard. Like not seeing you maybe, but like actually seeing the group. Where am I looking? Yeah, what am I? Yeah, you're rolling? like if you're trying perception. to see if you're trying to see the group, roll perception. Perception. To, yes. Okay. Alright, so you hundred percent see the group, roll one more time. You don't see Candor. Okay. I'm just gonna raspberry in their general direction and then fly upwards. 
Uh, I'm gonna, like, dash at her and try to grab her before she can fly away. Alright, I need you both- I need, uh, Kandor to make an athletics check for me, and Solai needs you to make a dexterity check for me. Or acrobatics. Acrobatics? Acrobatics. Okay. Okay, I thought it clicked. It didn't click yet. Damn it! (laughs) You're having a bad time. Kandor, you try rushing forward as the the as the the cloak clings to you and keeps you like from being caught. But Sola's attention is just on point. They feel like the wind be like the the wind near them be interrupted, and they just reflectively flinch as you just miss and you kind of like skid across the ground as you see Sola flying away with your stuff. Do I, Do I see him on the you, ground? You don't. You but you you're very sure it's him though because that was some effort that whatever was trying to grab you was grabbing at you. Okay. <laughs> How far I'm just away? Gonna... Is your just... is your flying speed only 30 feet? Yeah. Yes, but before, but before like I'll get maybe like 10 up. feet up before, before I'll, I'll laugh. laugh. Um, and I'll just take the outfit out of my bag, and I'll take the hat off, and land on the ground. Okay. Can't I'm only it. teasing you! You have never seen him as angry as he is right now. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, no, she hasn't. She can't see you. <laughs> I can't. I'm just, I just no. landed. <laughs> uh, I'm going to approach her and grab her by the collar. Oh, that's so mean. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Also, wait a minute. She didn't even see Bliss, because Bliss is disguised. <laughs> She's a different she, team. She knows <laughs> that saw she saw time. Bliss disguise herself. Yeah. They're, yeah, in, they're yeah. in the same room. Saw Bliss disguise nah. herself before you left. Nah. Okay. Nah. <laughs> nah. Um, I'm holding her by the collar. And... Finish him. <laughs> <laughs> You don't do that. That would be bad. I mean, can I dex out of that? I don't particularly want to be grabbed. Uh, yeah. I, if you if you don't want to be grabbed, again, both of you, athletics versus acrobatics. <laughs> oh, try me. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Suplex. Three. The... Sola's sitting on your shoulders. Like, you try to grab her, and she just sort of, like, twists her body to where, like, she's got you basically where she wants you and not the other way around. I'm just gonna gonna place the outfit outfit on his face face, and then then just say, you're welcome. welcome. I paid for it, by the way. And then I'm gonna fly upwards again. Okay. Now don't you just feel like a dick? Uh, me? No. no. <laughs> as as I like move the outfit and she starts flying away, I'm going to shoot an eldritch blast, but I'm not going to. No, I'm just shooting it near her location. I am not trying to hit her. It is simply a threat. It's a warning shot. Got it's you. a warning shot. We're in town. He uh, does not care. I was about to say, I don't think he cares, and it's <laughs> no. too late. You fire you fire the Eldritch Blast. Immediately, everyone is looking, trying to look to where it's coming from. But he's he's gonna, invisible, too. Nobody can fucking here, here, see here, him. I'm not, I'm he's not invisible. invisible. And with that many eyes, I'm not even going to roll. Kandor, you just gave yourself away. So by a lot of people's perspective, who were right near you, it's like they just heard a gunshot go off in their ear, and they just turn around like, what the fuck? And you are just in... I I guess you're, like, in the position of still casting it when everyone looks at you. I mean, mean, to uh, be fair, his his face face is covered by an outfit. The face is covered, but, like, (laughs) everything else is seen. Uh, and I just look, and I'm just, thief! I'm just gonna, gonna yeah, before he even <laughs> yells, I'm just gonna hide. Like, just, oh, yeah, totally. Well, I'm just gonna fly away. He's just, like, <laughs> he's just yelling, thief! <laughs> thief, just yep. bought you your fucking outfit. Okay, I have a bunch of people looking at me, you think I'm gonna tell them? She bought my outfit, and I was pissed at her. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> No. Just, just gonna, gonna yell out. out. He, she bought Guys, my you don't understand. Bought my outfit. I'm 
I'm sorry, guys. It just happens when I'm excited. <laughs> I swear to God, this never happens. Jesus. Oh, okay, I found my notes finally, but this Bliss is just like happening. laughing, <laughs> just full laughing. Oh, all right. Give me one second. Uh, where do 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 do? Here we go. You guys. Okay, like as you you shout that, uh, some other people run off, like to try like either make way or to go get someone. Um, Kandor, are you gonna stay where you are? Oh God, no! After that happens, he's gonna like try to disappear into the crowd and go hide. All like, right, anywhere. I need you to make. Oh boy, this is gonna be hard though. I'm gonna I'm gonna say as you try to leave immediately, a couple hands stop you and they just say it's like. Well, hang on there. Like, if they stole you, stole something from you, like, don't worry. We'll get the guard. We can easily take care of this. Uh, give me a second. Sure. While he's like looking down at like his clothes, um, it's just no, no. I think that they only took a few gold pieces. I'm not that worried about it. I just got very angry. <sighs> this isn't the first time this has happened. It is water deep, I guess, but I don't know. It, you're angry enough to, you know, and he like motions his hand to like signify. <laughs> yeah, I was like, it's more of a warning shot so that anybody else that was thinking about it would just know to back off. It's not, it's not been a great day for me, you know? <sighs> okay, but I mean, you still fired off magic in, in a public area. Like, maybe Guy. talking to the guards. I mean, uh, yeah, maybe like, you know, to like, just explain the situation. I want to say this. If you actually want to get out of this, uh, roll a persuasion check and you can say one more thing in character and we'll base it off that. Otherwise, this guy's not letting you go. He's trying to be a good Samaritan. It's okay. You need He's to change like... your dice color. Shut <laughs> up. Leave me alone. I'm doing the best I can. Um... He's just, I mean, I don't want to bother them, but I guess I'll just let them know that I didn't mean any harm. And he nods, and you guys kind of hear, like, uh, the stomping of, uh, like, metal and boots, as you just hear. All right, what the hell's going on? And uh, I want every, all three of you, well, actually, no, I want uh, specifically Candor and Bliss to roll a history check with advantage. Nice. Ooh. 15. Candor, you're like, wait, I know that voice. Bliss, <gasps> you, you hear it go, oh no, I know that voice. <laughs> Bliss, uh, Bliss goes, I will see you later. And she gets <laughs> the fuck out of there. Bliss, roll a stealth check with advantage because no one's paying attention to you. So it's, I, I doubt like anyone's going to focus. Yeah, you get the fuck right out of there. Where do you go? Uh, A nearby alleyway out of sight. All right, you rush off to go to a nearby alleyway while, like, kind of poking your head out. And you, uh, you sort of see, uh, Misha Malik, the half-orc, uh, general, now captain of the Waterdeep Guard, and who is still wearing that eye necklace pendant to, uh, uh. see through magic. As she walks up and says, All right, what's the trouble here? Hang on a second. Sure. Writing notes as fast as I can. No worries. Uh, I just walk up to her, my hood still over my head because, yeah. Um, I I apologize. I've not had the best day, and a thief got some gold off of me, and I acted rashly and fired a shot into the air. Uh, I just, you you know how it is. Like, it only takes so much before you get fed up. You a newcomer to the city? Uh, yes, I'm not from around here. I'm sorry. Well, then trust me, with certain circumstances, yeah, we kind of get where you're coming from. <sighs> she, she immediately turns and she calls out, and I never gave these characters names. <laughs> but, uh, 
Luna specifically really wanted me to have one of them be canon, so give me one yes. second. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused, but okay. I can't remember what I named her, I but yes. Oh, no, I, lady. No. Yeah, yeah, I don't remember either, but like, you, you guys were in so much love with these guards that you wanted me to keep them, and I'm like, I don't remember their names anymore. Let me go look. I like, have this, it. Is, this is when, like, that's, like, this all happened back when, like, I wasn't taking notes religiously like I do now, so there are some gaps. <laughs> Can I get slash W? Yeah, but don't you have to, like, put, like, a name or something? Yeah, and then the person's name. I don't know, do a test. Uh... Uh, one of the guards' yeah. name was Rikdor. Uh, the lady from the other room was named Lucy. Lucy. Yeah. yeah. Lucy. Yeah, she's the is. beefy one with glasses. Yeah, she's the beefy, dark-skinned glasses guard who's just, like, <laughs> and to, to quote Luna, is anime stupid, clumsy, cute. <laughs> I love her. And what was the other person's name? Uh, Richtor. I have it as like R I K T O R, but. No, that's how I would have spelt it, because I think that's yeah. fun. Uh, they finally get brought back into the world, which is perfect. I'll get more details on these two. I know there was a third guard, but I don't think anybody cared, so we're just gonna go with those two because they were the ones who stuck out the most. Um, yeah, so you, you guys, like, you see Misha kind of, like, uh, lean back and just, like, call for both of them. Lucy sort of, like, stumbles, like, her glasses are, like, kind of, like, crooked on her face as she, like, almost falls over, but then, like, gets to attention and nervously salutes. Richter looks like hell. Like, he looks like he hasn't slept in days. He's got giant Jesus. bags under his eyes. He's usually, like, like, lazily, like... It looks less like he's saluting and more like he's, like, slapping his own head. He's like... Yeah, Captain. I see you get the statement from her, and we can figure out where to go from here. Hi, Captain. And he, like... Uh, he, like, b practically passes out, like, just, like, walking up to you, and, like, Lucy immediately tries to, like, help him walk. And then, uh, Misha actually, like, looks like they're going to go for your hood, and then they kind of, like, stop themselves and kind of, like, like, motions for you to, like, take it off. Um, I will. All right. Uh, you just look at yourself, right? Yeah, I haven't, like, I'm fine. All right. Misha looks at you. Uh, you can roll an insight check. Let me scroll. No. Right. Uh, Change your dice color. I did! <laughs> Change it again. Oh my god, leave me alone. She looks at you and just kind of shrugs and then uh, walks off. And is kind of like looking to try and see. Because uh, while all this is going on, I'm assuming that you are far fucking gone. So <laughs> where did you fly off to? Uh, uh, uh fucking, fucking away, away at the beginning of that. Um, <clears throat> uh, just gonna kind of take, take a look from, from above, above, looking for, looking for shops, shops and shit. Okay. Uh, message me what shops you want to check out, and we can go from there. Uh, and then I'll come up with something for you. Uh, Vorton, what are you up to while this is all going on? Because now the guards are talking to uh, one of your friends, and the other ones, the other two have just run off. I'm going to go and look for a water pouch. Yeah. All right. I didn't want to interrupt, so. Oh, it's fine. Uh,. You find a, a one of the, a, a stand like for a shop like selling like simple water skins and whatnot pretty easily. Do you just like pay for one and grab it? Yeah. All right, usually that's like we're gonna I'll cost you like fucking three copper at best. I'll 
How much is it? How much copper? So it, ten copper to one silver, ten silver to one gold. Okay. Sorry, I'm just. So if you just want to like give him a silver and like tell him keep the change. Yeah, he'll, I'll he'll give him happen. silver. Yeah, he'll happily take that. What are you gonna do with your water skin? I'm <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna tie it around my belt. Vorton always prepared. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, by the end of this, Vorton's gonna be like the dad who's prepared for everything. Actually, I'm gonna buy two water skins. All right, two, two yeah. silver. <laughs> well, two silver. Okay. But it was three copper. Before. Yeah. It was. It was. It was three <laughs> copper. It was three <laughs> copper, but you're handing out silver like it's no big deal. So he's kind of like, sw no, like, like, if it's three <laughs> copper, you'll get two of them, and he'll, <laughs> he'll give you two water skins, but you'll give him the whole silver still. Yep, that's great. <laughs> I'm assuming you just wanted to be generous. Isn't that what Bahamut would want? Yeah, I was gonna say I'll tip him a gold, but. Eh. <laughs> Uh, you now have two water skins. Keep the change, you filthy animal. <laughs> I'm going to tie them to my belt and wander off to go look at weapons. Yeah. I want to find All a new right. weapon. Uh, you go to look at weapons. Uh, Kandor, you're being interviewed by Lucy and Richter. Uh, Lucy's doing a lot of the the talking. Richter like kind of slumps near like the water fountain that you guys are near, and he looked he just looks ready to pass out. Mm -hmm. uh, Bliss, you're watching all this. I want you to roll a perception check. All right, you don't know. Well, actually, let me roll. Ha, <laughs> no, yeah, you don't notice until you hear. Hey, so uh, what's Candor got himself into this time? creepy oh you know the usual making scenes in public wait this person recognizes her as bliss and then bliss yep. goes wait a minute yeah. <laughs> and turns... you you turn around it's serpe diem as he just kind of gives you like a wave and a very very wide toothy smile bliss just like rolls her eyes and just motions out of the the uh, alleyway into where you know, Kandor is being interviewed by the guard. <laughs> mm, at least he's keeping his cover mostly held. Yeah, he's good at that, at least. I mean, how, how good can you be if you, you know, shot an Eldritch Blast in the air and got the guard to interest you in the first place? That was sarcasm, Serpe. <laughs> what? I've never heard of sarcasm once in my life! No, seriously, like, what are you guys doing here in Waterdeep? Kandor wanted to pick up a suit that he ordered or something. I don't know. I shouldn't be here. Yeah, pro no, you, you, you really shouldn't. Uh, you really shouldn't. She just he, raises an eyebrow at him. Uh, he actually pulls out a parchment, and the parchment has a bounty on your head. Oh, God. How much is the bounty? Twice as much of the money you stole. Like the hundred thousand? You mean the six hundred and fifty thousand? Yeah. What what is put on that paper is one million worth of gold. I mean, can we just put her in now? Can you just put her in now? <laughs> <laughs> Do we have Let's to just wait? Be... So how is how is her picture on it? Like, does it look like her? Is it no, poorly but... drawn? Gonna... Would she be offended? Highs or lows is what I'll ask. Um, you know, based on how the game is going, I'm gonna go lows. You should have gone highs and rolled oh. 108. <laughs> um, they got your hair and your horns right. This is like wrinkles her nose. It goes. This doesn't look like me at all. I mean, that's what I said too. But um, yeah, the uh, the rest of the guild doesn't like the fact that you're uh. Got such a bounty on you. Oh. Yeah, and remember that whole thing I was trying to explain to you guys, but you know, you just kind of shoved me away about how the guild's not exactly uh, family friendly anymore. 
<sighs> so they're out for me now just because I'm a better thief than them. <laughs> His eye twitches a little bit. <laughs> Some of them are out for you to kill you because um, they, they don't want you, they don't want what you fucked up with, or I'm sorry, your magnum opus of a theft. Um... <laughs> Would would go back to them. Others want to turn you in and get the gold. And uh, if there is anyone else on your side besides me, he winks. Um, we're not really wanting to say it out loud, <laughs> cause uh, you know, everyone's trying to either kill you or capture you. Well, they can try. As if any of those sorry sods could kill me. I literally just capture. snuck up on you without <laughs> trying five <laughs> seconds ago. Listen, I could have slit your throat. Distracted. I mean, look at this freaking beehive of stupidity. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now, actually. And he's distracted, <laughs> looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> she just scowls at him. I hate you. I, I, you can you, you can hate me all you want, but I'm on your side. Don't forget that. Uh huh. And she just like eyes him suspiciously. Well, you can roll an insight check if you want. I'm still on. Oops. He. Okay, we're normal now. He's actually shaking a little bit. Like he's not lying to you. This is serious, and he's not, like, he's he's not trying to give, like, that whole gravitas speech of, I'm a scary snake guy, ooh, like, he's being very candid with you. Huh. She just, like, raises an eyebrow, and why are you on my side exactly? If I tell you, do you promise not to get a big head over? What am she I just like gets this anyway? little cat smile and like does the whole like anime like <laughs> eyes like I would never. Fucking eyebrows are waggling all of it. Fucking. <laughs> um. He just goes. Oh, why did I even ask? Okay. You and Kandor aren't the best of thieves, but I think your quality of work is more admirable than what I've seen others do. And given Aww. the situation of the guild, like I tried to warn you, <laughs> sides need to be chosen and throats are gonna get slit. And um, you and Kandor always kind of talk to me with the least amount of content. Aw, your babe. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, you like my survey. I'm literally going to puke the entire hog <laughs> I ate an hour ago if you don't stop right now. <laughs> she just, like, breaks down into laughter. Yes, yes, it is actually, it's actually, it, it actually is, like, hilarious. But seriously, I have got to ask you so many questions. Please, do not bullshit me. <laughs> She's just still got her little cat grin and was like, yeah, I'll do my best. <laughs> All right, to, to speed this along, uh, out of these questions, just tell me above game whether or not you tell him the truth or not. The first question is, how did you steal that money? Oh, I fucking lie. All right, that's one lie. Uh, where is the money? Um... In a safe in place. In a safe place, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's All not right. technically a lie. Where are you and Kandor trying to hide? Or, if you can't tell him where, do you have a place to hide? Yes. All right, I need you to roll a deception check for the first one. Sadness. So he she, a, she... And he got she, a natural uh, 20. Oh, oh God. <laughs> She like you like fake YouTuber story times this 
<laughs> and like blows it completely out of proportion to like she single handedly broke into this place, dismissed all the magic, and walked out with all the gold on her back. Like, level of poorly lied. <laughs> he puts yeah. his hands together, takes in a deep breath. <clears throat> Okay, but how did you actually get away with hundreds of thousands worth of bars in gold and platinum? Oh, you know, I might have had just the smidgen of help from okay. a friend. I, I listen. Hey, that's fine. I get it. I can. I can work with that. So that implies assistance. That implies a group. That implies probably managed magic shenanigans. I'm thinking a bag of holding personally, but. Mm. Oh yeah, you could call him that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he raises it. He goes. He literally does not get like him, and he has to like quiet down. Like you both like duck behind the wall really quick. <laughs> what? I mean, How yes, it's made? a bag of holding. Okay. 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 That's Four-ton feels a little happier for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> okay. That's fine. I can work with that. Okay. I need you to take something, and for the love of any deity that isn't dead, just take it. And he hands you a very small uh, earring with a little, uh, like, crystal orb as, like, the ornament. Ooh. So what does it do? <clears throat> it tracks your every movement. Uh, <laughs> do, you, do you take it from him? So what does it do? <laughs> oh my god, Bliss, just take it before I kill you myself. <laughs> she takes it. Uh, he he kind of like sticks his tongue out, so you like see his big snake tongue, which is pierced with a similar orb, and you hear in your head... Yeah, this is how you're going to get in contact with me and vice versa. Okay, I see. I, I'm not sure how I feel having your gross voice in my head all the time, though. Well, I don't think we know if you your gross voice in my head. <laughs> I have resort. He, like, covers his face. Yes, I know it's not my best comeback. I have literally resorted to the lowest common denominator. I mean... Is it is it really resorting if you've always sort of been the lowest common denominator? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I will eat you. <laughs> I would like to see you try. He like slowly takes the bottom half of his mouth and starts unhinging his jaw. Well, it's just like wrinkles her nose and goes, "That doesn't look healthy." <laughs> <laughs> All right, look, just explain to Candor everything that I just explained to you. I'll stay in touch. Try not to die. If you don't hear from me in a week, I died. They're coming for you. Good luck. Oh, I thank you, sir, babe. Good luck to you, too. You are so lucky that you're worth it. And he immediately, like, spins around and, like, literally slinks into, like, a open sewer hole and then closes it with his tail. <laughs> Bliss just, like, as he goes, <laughs> like, she gets that uwu face and goes, I'm worth it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, God. All right, we're going to cut over uh, to... <laughs> we're going to cut over to Grandolf. Oh, Grand Grandolf, buddy, <laughs> are you are you still just studying these books and like learning how to create these spells? Yeah, I, I picked one. All right. Uh, uh, I, picked... I want. Oh, go ahead. Oh, no, go go. Uh, <laughs> go ahead and roll me a wisdom saving throw. Oh. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I had on advantage of seven. That's okay. That is fine. <laughs> Uh, you start to feel a little faint, and you, you kind of, like, stumble, and then someone catches you and says, Oh, hey there. You really need to start taking better care of yourself. What? 
uh, as you look, <laughs> it's the same woman that oh you saw God. hovering over you when you were, like, convulsing in Pagif's study. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's your, uh, oh. internal anime waifu. Hmm. Don't you fucking call her that. I will stab you. This isn't even survey DM anymore. This is me to Luna. <laughs> the fucking atrocities that you just echoed in the universe from saying that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, like, oh, it's you again. Do I even, like, remember her or, like, that, I don't know, establish uh, that. With, with that, so with that wisdom, you know she is a part of your past, uh, which yes. you don't fucking connect. Um, you know you saw her and a lot of other people in those books that you were reading when you were looking up the name Grandolf, mm -hmm. but that's all you got. Okay. So I'm just gonna straight up say like, you know me, but I don't remember you. Yeah, that's kind of the problem. Okay. <laughs> How do we fix this problem? Well, how do you... <sighs> this is... <clears throat> how do you stuff the culmination of multiple decades of souls into a body when there is no body. I'm all might. <laughs> <laughs> all might it, it, finally, it finally happened. It's yes. <laughs> I stole this from all for one for all. I'm not gonna even lie. Oh, Perfect. God. You are the you are wizard might. <laughs> wizard might. Grand old just... wizard might. We're <laughs> crossovers here. No, I love it. <laughs> Um, uh, what do you mean, ten souls with no body? I have a body. <laughs> he, she, she smiles a little bit and it's like, yeah, remember when Pagif, I think his name was? Um. Yeah. When yeah. He, you guys are kind of on a... Kind of on a time uh, time limit. So she kind of looks at the books you're reading. You should definitely rest. You've always just constantly worked yourself to passing out, but you you need to focus on fixing. And she literally like puts her hand through your face, going down your chest, and pulls out, and you don't even feel it this what is it i like 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 is she like phased her hand through you like you were oh oh i thought she actually pulled out something <laughs> i was like oh what did she pull out deep inside you and pull out your very essence <laughs> oh god i thought it was music indiana jones shit cover <laughs> she just pulls out your still beating heart it's like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and we aren't even there to see it. Um, do you have any direction you could give me to help with fixing this? I have a lot of theories. Um, <laughs> this is definitely, I guess, and you just hear like a lot of voices in your head echoing, not painfully. It's like you just hear a lot of people, like you're in a big conference room, all murmuring uh, something until like one word specifically comes up uh, saying celestial. It's like, yeah, it, it, it's something uh, spiritual, celestial. So try looking into that because I don't think any of us have a, uh... like, I, I, I don't even know how Pagif did this and why this is still a thing. She like motions to your entire body. Um, I'm like, oh, rude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was rude. He he really should have uh, thought better about stuffing your your souls into like honestly, your one buddy uh, getting a metal suit of armor like that would have worked. I I think. 
Like that that would have been something. Okay. She like eyes she like eyes you like knowing what you meant by the comment. Yeah. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> I have feelings. Do you? I'm very self-conscious about my appearance. <laughs> Um, I'm just writing it down. Two, yeah, go for it. Far into celestial slash spirit, you said? Yeah. Spiritual? Mm hmm. Yeah, like what, what you're looking for is like spiritual in nature. Okay, um. You seem to know a lot about this. Do you know approximately like how much time we have since losing time or running out of time? Sorry. Uh, he she looks at you and she says, "Well, if you want to do the math, um, if every day is a year." And you have what? Um, and you like hear the, the 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 echoes of the voices saying numbers, and you they all finally converge onto saying uh, five. And she just looks panicked, like, no, that that can't be right. Not. And then like uh, all the voices begin to like argue with one another, and then everyone grows silent. You just need to focus on getting it done quickly. Uh, noted. Go. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> Fun stuff. Yep. Now I just need to figure out where to start looking for this. Let me, there we go. And... She's she, she basically says, honestly, if you went to any teaching of life or any one of a religion that focuses on spirit or even the dead, uh, that might, might be able to get different perspective. But, you know. Okay. But... She kind of, like, her face softens, and she looks at you. Belle, how are you doing? Like, you. To, to me? Yeah. She, she said what? Belle? <laughs> yeah, she said Belle. <laughs> and you can make another wisdom saving throw for that. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> you don't you you can't... I can't remember if I actually messaged you an actual Oh name. you did. Oh you did. I have it. And um I'm gonna say this. You don't know why, but you kinda like cringe, ah. like, ah, don't call me that. But you, you can't explain why. Okay. <sighs> that bad. Okay. Well, I'm hoping if we're able to figure out this whole not being a real person thing, I might remember some more. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Hopefully. Well, I will get right to that. No you're gonna go to sleep and as you hear the word sleep like the word echoes in your head and you pass out on the ground damn it when you wake up uh, a couple hours have passed just before the group will eventually make their way back into the portal and you just see blackstaff like standing on your cheeks looking down at you with his one big eye and he goes hi why are you sleeping on the floor that looks really uncomfortable he has two eyes now he went back to one no <laughs> I'm like, I was just really exhausted and passed out. 
Oh, you want me to get you food and water? Sure, that'd be great. Okay, and he hops off like his head kind of like, uh, like shakes like a bobblehead as like his his one eye splits into two again. You you get the idea like he like that's like his version of going cross-eyed to look at something. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. As he, he, he just kind of, like, runs off and, like, jumps out the window. Like, he specifically is, like, getting this weird habit of jumping out of the window of every building for some reason. Wonderful. Well, he's blobby, so that's okay. Yeah. He, uh, we'll go ahead now and we'll cut over to Vorton. You're actually going around checking out, uh, the different wares. Yeah. Shopping. What are you looking for specifically? Uh, just anything that would catch Dragonborn's eye. Um, a new weapon, maybe. Okay. Anything that would be... Give me a second to pull up... Nope, that's the wrong button. Oh, wait, no, I have this. No, I don't. Da -da -da -da. I don't think I have a weapon snap pick out for you guys yet, so we get to use my new table to figure out what it's gonna be. Before I forget, I've been meaning to ask you, does my new shield have any special stats or is it just a regular old shield? That makes me, me. Uh, it, hmm. I do not recall if I gave you anything. I think the most it was, what is your AC currently? Uh, 20. Yeah, uh, I don't recall, because of that, I think I was going to give you like a plus one to your AC, like, like in addition to it being the shield, but basically no, it, it's just a disguise. Okay. It's a no but it's a normal shield, but it's a very well made shield that can't be easily broken. Okay. Okay. Do, 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 do. Well, I want to find something that would go well with my shield. Okay, like a new weapon that would go with it. All right. Uh, I'm very tired for some reason. I don't know why I'm having trouble finding here we go this is what i need perfect all right stockpile roll in the d10 okay oh really well that's gonna be interesting uh oh god i love that i make characters and then forget they exist um, you see something that gets your attention, all right. Mm -hmm. You see what at first when you're walking by is l what looks like a like a weird sort of like artistic statue made out of gems. Uh, it kind of like changes to different colors, but then like it's it looks up at you, I and it just kind of like nods at you, like acknowledging your existence. I stop, I stop. and nod back. <laughs> Please don't have a nodding battle. <laughs> Shall start. It uh it, it it motions with like uh digits in a hand that mirror like a humanoid's but is like more bulky and jagged as it like motions towards like uh its little uh table as like on, in it in its uh its cart or its little um you know a little shopping cart. There's just pictures of different, like, basic-looking weapons. Would I it's know like these what little... this thing is? You roll a history check with disadvantage. Oh my god, nice. You have heard of these before? In myths. This is something that the local populace have called shard mine. You understand that whatever their origin, shard mines are they're, they have sort of like either the emotional state of a construct which is nothing but can actually think on their own or they have hyper-induced emotions. Okay. I will approach it and be like, hello. It waves. I look at its table. What weapons do I see? 
you don't see any weapons. You or, like, see, the uh, you see like cards, like depicting lawn swords, maces, bows, crossbows, all of that stuff. Okay. I look at him. It's like, do you, do you make the weapons? It nods. I point to the or I point to the long sword and say, "How much?" Uh, it p takes its hand and like the crystals of its hand kind of like reform into different shapes, and with its two hands, it kind of like puts on like a little puppet show to like to talk to you and express like. What kind of longsword do you want? Do you want one that slices, one that explodes, one that has acid? And it kind of, it like, it keeps going through this almost endless list of things that the sword can do until eventually it gets to, like, some ridiculous ideas. Like, do you want one that can split off into kitchen knives and cut your vegetables for you? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Ponders this for a moment. Can they cut more, th can they cut more than vegetables? <laughs> Uh, it, it, the hand goes back to being a normal sword. It just kind of, like, motions a swinging motion. Hold on, I'm being called away. <laughs> Don't go towards the light, it's too early. <laughs> so it, it does the swinging motion as if to imply, of course, it is a sword. <laughs> Ponder it, and it's like, okay... How about fire? Okay. It uh, nods about that and kind of shows off, like, its own hand turning into a, a sword shape. And mm -hmm. then it, behind it, it picks up a uh, something out of, like, a little, like, uh, brown box and uh, grips onto a different crystal. And then its hand turns into that of, like, a fiery blade. Yes. How much would such a blade be? Give me one second to look for One million dollars. One million dollars. Oh, see, Zach, you want the Vorpal? Vorpal longsword, I think it is. How do you link things in chat? Is that... Yeah, the, the Vorpal sword is basically what he was wanting. Uh, you gotta get to to chop there. things' heads off if you get a twenty. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, here we go. Okay, so just giving you fire damage, I would say at most would just be like in this world, just getting a sword that can be fire would honestly be a very common magic enchantment. So, uh, Ooh, thank you. He would say, he would, like, motion, like, continue to, like, form his body into different images. Mm -hmm. uh, at most, if of quality, he would say uh, the actual blade itself would cost, uh, like, getting the materials for the blade itself would cost 50 gold. Uh, the enchantment process, given his abilities, would cost 100 gold on top of that. And then he continues to, like, morph his uh, his hand into, like, a more detailed, like, image with etching and everything. He points to that, turns his uh, hand into more, like, representations of gold, and said, and basically tells you anywhere between 20 to an additional 50 gold for any kind of, like, special customization. So you're looking at most, if you wanted to go for the highest of everything, like... 200 to 250 gold to get this kind of weapon. Porton ponders for a moment. Says, and how long would it take to get? Uh, continues to morph himself, uh, expressing the idea of simple jobs, uh, no more than a week. Uh, uh, something more detailed would be something between two to three weeks. Hmm. I look at the table of cards again. And so it's just like your basic weapons that he can make? Yeah. He, he basically is like showing off like simple like designs of like what the base weapon is. And then if you want something special, he adds on to the price. Okay. Yeah, 
and someone's like, I, I, I would be buying one, yes. yes. Uh, he nods, and he uh, picks up a, 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 a very, like a butcher knife, almost, uh, puts his arm down in front of you, and he chops it off. Oh. He then picks up the thing and, uh, like, motions for you to put your hand out. I put my hand out. All right, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Wait a minute. He's doing this to someone that appears to be a dragonborn? No, it appears to be, like, a gem person. Now, this person, gem person, is doing this to someone who appears to be a dragonborn. Yes. Okay, just making sure that I had that clear. <laughs> okay. Uh, you feel like a, a, like it feels like something like is shocking you and like very quickly goes all over your body. Uh, given that you are presumably a dragonborn, but really like an anime armor, like um, you you just kind of feel it without feeling any pain. It's just like oh, that's a weird tingly sensation. Do I and know? And then what he's doing there? are you rolling Arcana check? Uh -huh. Like maybe he's trying to steal your soul. Maybe he maybe he knows you're a suit of armor. Mm. He can try. Uh, he fight. <laughs> he pulls away the gem as you see the gem like kind of slowly shift between different colors until eventually uh, he squeezes it a little bit more like what was his arm, and it takes form into like a lawn like like a, a much longer thinner thing of crystal, and it stays like a solid red. And he smiles, he nods, and he uh, puts it away, wrapping it up in a, a cloth and leans it up against the wall. Oh, I see. Cool. I ask him, like, is your body what you're turning into the weapon? With the one hand he still has, he kind of motions, like, a sort of, and uh, he keeps, like, realizing, oh, yeah, I don't have the other hand. So, like, he, he has to, like, air quote talk slower yeah. as he mimics and mimes and explains to you the enchantment will basically come from him but the metals and whatnot will still have to be purchased elsewhere which is something you don't have to worry about okay does it hurt him will he get his arm back <laughs> uh he motions that uh he doesn't feel pain and okay. he will get his arm back within a day oh good okay and do you want payment up front or when I pick it up? He uh, motions for half. Half up front and then the rest whenever they're done. Okay. He said it would be about 250 for the fancy one? Yep. If you want to go for the whole like special design and uh, best quality. Fuck yeah. All right. So, do so you'll give them that. Oh. Uh-oh. Good thing I have my... So I'll give him a hundred. Hundred. I give him a hundred up front. Oh, he, he wants half of like two fifty. Well, I think with well, yeah, like half of two fifty, so like one hundred twenty-five. Yeah, I'll give him one hundred twenty-five. How do you give him the money, Zach? <laughs> you get out of your body. <laughs> I pull up a moment and open my mouth and like shove my head. Smart <laughs> man. Actually, do this. Yes. <laughs> He, the, the living gem person is taken aback as you do this and, like, looks around as everyone's just watching you like, uh, 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 as you pull out 50 gold or 125 gold, which is of your personal stash that you stole from the dude, right? No, this is my personal stash that I got from tricking people. Thank you very much. Yes, you stole it from the rich dude. I didn't so sell it. He bet it fair and square. <laughs> you know what? That's fair. You know what? <laughs> that's a fair. That's a fair point. And I offered right. to give. I gave. I gave his share back. Actually, remember? No. It's the other guy who paid me. So this money. Oh is yeah, the one. Mine. The one drunk guy who was like super happy. Was like, dude, that was awesome. Yeah, he gave me all of this money. So it's all his money, and he gave it to me. So I'm willing to. Yeah. 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 Uh, he ain't no thief. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about paladin. He just stolen money away. Um, but as I pull out, as I finish pulling it out, I like wipe it down the best I can, 
and I'm like, sorry, it's 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 better than having it hanging out in the open for people to steal and hand in the gold. <laughs> Amazing. Jesus Christ. You you see no like facial expression on this thing. Like the only reason you can understand that this thing is looking at you is that like there's very two clear lights on its air quote face that indicate that like it has eyes. Yeah. And but it slowly and delicately like takes the bag of gold away from you and like slowly nods. <laughs> Vortan, you realize suddenly everyone's looking at you like what the fuck? Like it's, 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 it's better than having it stolen from my belt. And you, you hear you hear passively as a as a couple walks by. Yeah, unless somebody's brave enough to cut his belly open. <laughs> I just imagine someone going to hit him, and they just hear. <laughs> oh, I am. I, you I start assume... puking up money like a pinata. <laughs> I assume that I'm a dragon, like I look like a dragonborn wearing. Yes, armor. you look, but that's why everyone's yeah. looking at you. Yeah, I knew. I'm like, hey. hey, at least he doesn't take his head off. <laughs> yeah, I was like, <laughs> yeah, like he said, I opened my mouth, like, all right, he's not actually like headless horsemaning this right now. Hey, hey, I am able to have some plan ahead for things. I mean, honestly, if you wanted to do like. Gold swallowing betting Mach 2. You probably could do it now. <laughs> no, it's too soon. The world isn't ready for that again. <laughs> Alright, so all the stuff you just sent me, Bree, this is like stuff you want to like get in the future. Yeah, it's stuff that I, he would like to get after talking to the guards if he can. Okay. At least some of it. Some of it might have to wait. But yeah. yeah. Mostly because of like how much money you, you actually have on you. I mean, this is just like his like list. Mm -hmm. Some of some of it's now, some of it's for later. Is okay. it a shopping list? Uh, shopping yeah. List. Is it ninety percent ramen cups? No. That's my shopping list, and how <laughs> fucking dare you call me out? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm not even in college anymore, but when you fry eggs with ramen, God! No! No, so no it's a soft-boiled egg. I'm already Thank got you. sick off of that one. So. I don't like eggs in my ramen. I <gasps> make myself rice, and then I have eggs with my rice. Alright, listen, we have, to, we have to take a book out of Hank Hill, and we are going to have to politely but firmly ask you to leave. <laughs> um, me? No. No, yes, Luna. Poor Marty. Uh, all right. Vor Before we move on, Vorton looks at this yes. crystal creature. He goes, "Do you have a name?" Uh oh. Actually, it does. Get in my notes. Thank God, I actually got good at doing this. Yes. Uh, it, it, it kind of, like, just write. It, like, takes, like, a little pen and, like, write. Like, actually, no, it has a business card. Ooh, it has even a better. Little, like, bit, it has a business card, uh, which says... Give me a minute. Oh, I know exactly what this guy's partner is. Do, 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 do. It is... Abram... And Warwinds Smithy, and he points to the name Abram. Cool, nice to meet so, you, Abram. He he actually nods, and like the lights in his head like close, as if like giving an indication of like that smiley kind of nod. Cool. I will see you in two to three weeks. Nods again, and kind of like does like that. Uh, lazy salute to you. I... 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 I nod and salute. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, like, whenever, like, someone just, like, like kind of, like, taps their forehead and, like, waves away. Yeah. I'm... I'm I don't do. want to... <laughs> <No. laughs> I don't know. It's the first thing that came just, up. It's all good. It's all good. You walk away at this point. And everyone's still staring at you for puking out gold. 
<laughs> All right, we're gonna cut over to Sola. Uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be doing a little bit more housekeeping here, and then we'll I'll be uh, we'll be wrapping up. So Sola, what are you up to? You just flew away, cackling to yourself. I'm assuming. <laughs> um, I'm basically just gonna land back down, um, and then just start going through shops and stuff. Um, looking for there are some items that I sent you, uh, just as well as some general items that I'm looking for. Me. Uh, okay. Uh, the first link I think goofed. Oh, no, there it is. Let's see here. Ooh. Okay. And that is in. The fuck is WDMM? I think that is a book I don't have. Like something of the Mad Mage. Uh, might be. Uh, I will have to do a little bit of research on like what the price. Of, well, it's a it's a common item, so I can work with that. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna be going through this list here uh, a little bit quickly, just like to get you ideas of like what things are going to cost. Yeah, apparently it's from Waterdeep Dungeon of the Mad oh, Mage. Yeah. Oh, I still gotta get that one, so yeah. I'm glad that you have this for reference at the very least. Let's see. I, I knew it was Mad Mage something. Oh, I know this one. Okay. Alright, and I actually have the perfect character for this. <laughs> uh, you kind of fly around relatively keeping to yourself when what did I not I didn't copy this character over but they were my favorite shopkeeper that I came up for you guys so they are very much still a thing uh, you remember howls don't you yeah yeah, mm -hmm. yeah the owl Kenku you see his shop again and uh, I think that's probably like where you land for some of these items perfect you land and he he sees you walk in he just he says oh, how can we help you oh it's so good to see you again how have you been oh, I've, I've been very good thank you and yourself oh i can't really be complaining none although i did hear there was a bit of a scuffle over at the uh, the mansion there with a the party i say I, I say i've never heard of so much money just up and up poofing out of nowhere oh what do you mean? <laughs> weren't you at the weren't you at the party yourself, or did you happen to go home early? I uh, uh kind of look down, down at my feet a little bit, and I go, I have a very early bedtime. Roll a deception check. Oh my god! Can I get an advantage awful. on it? No! Why? Why? You, did, you didn't even say it. Can be I have a. Early what do you time. mean? <laughs> yeah, because I'm a child. You're All not right. a child. You just look like one. <laughs> Alright, and they're going to roll... Oh my god. Alright, he just goes, Oh, I understand that. <laughs> at least... At least... <laughs> he got two. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> um, I love you, pals, but goddamn you dumb. As he says, um, well, I understand that, and good on you for actually obeying, it, like, obeying your parents and your fa or guardians. So, what? Well, mm, he actually like kind of like holds his tongue. Like, I think I'll just uh, excuse myself from that part of the conversation. How can I help you today? <laughs> um, I, I'm looking for uh, some magic items again, uh, and I kind of like pull out a jotted list of the items that I specified. Let me see what we got here. And he just kind of whoo Now I say, I said, this is a bit of a very particular set of items, I gotta say, little lady. Uh, any particular reason you're looking for these? Uh, yeah, I'm going on an adventure. Adorable. He slowly, he blinks his <laughs> eyes twice. It's like, 
And are, are you going with, um, your guardians? Yep. Yep. <laughs> With advantage this time because you already have them convinced of other shit. You stupid. <laughs> nice. I hate you, howls, you dumb barra dumbass owl. Well, with a nat twenty, he was gonna be. He's like, well, uh, all right. Um, you, you you seem quite bright for your age, I must say. And I, I gotta, I have to tell you now, I don't. I don't really feel comfortable selling you these uh, in anything for an adventure of sorts. Now, if your guardians would happen to come in, now we we can make. <laughs> here. Uh, okay, but I just need to know if you have them. Oh well, let's uh, let me go ahead and give you this list here. And he stops for a minute. Okay, let's see what we got here. He like looks at you, but your persuasion was so. With that natural 20, I was about to make him, like, eyeball, because, like, he's a shop owner. I was going to make him be like, are they trying to steal from me? But you rolled a nat 20, and he got a fucking 7. Just an uh, innocent child, man. Yeah, yeah. Innocent what are you child. talking about? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see here. He would have a bag of holding. He okay. would have the decanter of endless water. And mm. he would have the chest of preser uh, preserving. Okay. I need that can. decanter of water. <laughs> and can you write the prices next to them, please? Alright, and I will read these off to you. Let me pull the book back open. Thank you. This is why I made such a fuss about guidebooks earlier. Really. They're so fucking useful. Mm. Uh, let's see here. All right, and he has a stream uh, level of the decanter. So going for the chest of preserving, it would be chest of preserving would be fifty gold. It's it's the equivalent of a fridge, so he wouldn't call it, uh, charge that much. Very basic. Okay. Uh, the bag of holding would actually be he actually has a couple bags of holding, so they would be anywhere between two to four hundred gold, uh, depending on if you want to make them designer. Uh, Fabulous. The... Exactly, bitch. Knowing <laughs> Solia, yeah, they're gonna be designer. <laughs> uh, the, the decanter for the stream would be a hundred gold. Uh, it's the basic one. And that is all he has. So he has those three. Wish I had money. I would totally buy that decanter. Now, I'm going to say this because I'm hearing you typing. Just keep that in your notes because I can always reference this table again, but I'm not writing it. <laughs> that's, that's, that's on you. <laughs> yeah, I have a little sessions <laughs> note things going. Um, okay, I'll take the little list back from him and then just say, uh, oh, thank you very much. I'll, uh, I'll talk to them about it. We have to talk about prices and stuff, too. Oh, aren't you just a little doll? I appreciate you all coming in. I hope you all stay out of trouble because, well, again, there's, been, there's some crazy shenanigans going on. And did, I, did I hear, like, a, the echoing of some kind of blasting going on out there? <laughs> a thunderclap, perhaps? <laughs> no. Uh, I'm not sure. There's a lot of noises outside, like a lot of them. Well, fair enough. I, I, I guess, I guess, I suppose from that height you'll only be able to, and he stops himself again. I'm gonna go ahead and just excuse myself from that part of the conversation. You have a wonderful day, dear. <laughs> I'm gonna wave cutely and childlike and then leave. <laughs> you got the skip out of the store, though. Uh, he found the skip button. It's already pre-installed into Howl's. <laughs> Uh, I grow to love these characters the more you all interact with them. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, last person or persons to check on again are Bliss and Candor. Candor, what do you tell the guards? Like, what's the lie that you tell them? Um, I mean the same as he said earlier, but uh, <clears throat> I I told your guard captain it's been a long day. And someone stole some gold from me. It was simply a warning shot. I'm very tired of having people, you know, pickpocket me. And uh, 
I'm in. It's my bad. Uh, the the one guy Richter kind of nods. Uh, Lucy's like really, really, uh, riding in, and she like kind of like nods and looks at you and gives like a, a a look of like I understand. Uh, Misha finally makes her uh, like seems to have been like an earshot, kind of like she's been like eyeballing the crowd and, and like looking at everyone, like I'm going to find this person. <laughs> Um, she eventually turns around and says, Well, all right, then. Guess there's not much we can do. Now, you take care of yourself. Do you want a, a guard escort uh, wherever you'll be staying or out, outside of the city if you happen to leave? Ah, uh, no, I, I think I'll be fine. I'm going to be spending some money, and it probably won't have much left, you know. Uh, she nods. All right, well, you take care. And, uh, she actually, like, looks over to Lucy. Lucy, like, uh, goes, oh, yeah. And she, like, stumbles a little bit as Richter, like, catches her by her wrist, sets her back up without looking, and out of his pocket hands her the parchment. She smiles at him and hands the parchment over to Misha, who then hands it to you. If you happen to see anyone that looks like this, <laughs> come on <laughs> us. And then you open up, and it's a very... Awful drawing of Bliss, but they got her horns and hair right. Is it only Bliss? Only Bliss. Not Grando? No, not the big Grandino. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna, like, squint at it and look. It's like, that's, gosh, I mean, Tiefling's giving us a bad name, you know. Uh, you, you, you bitch. You actually roll an insight check with advantage. Okay, hang on. Fifty. Yeah, you. Misha gives you a very knowing nod. Like, yeah, I can relate to that. <laughs> I mean, she is like a half orc, so. Mhm. Mm yeah, no, like she, like she super knows where you're coming from. It's like, exactly. She took. They took a lot of money, so we gotta make sure we can take him, take care of this. Wrap it all up. Oh, yes, of course. Good luck. <sighs> Same to you. Have a good one. You as well. She calls after Richter and Lucy, and they begin uh, back on their patrol. Uh, <laughs> as they leave, uh, when they're at a safe enough distance, I want to say that you uh, can meet up with Bliss again easily. Uh, no, he's going straight into like the shop where he, with his clothes had been waiting for him. Okay. Uh, you walk in and you yes, see, yes. uh, you see two furballs. <clears throat> Just kind of squint. Oh, hello, dearie! It's so good to see. <laughs> oh, your friend gave you back your outfit. That's so good. She, she, they came in to buy it for you, and then I heard some scuffling outside. And Hans and I were too busy working on things. You know, you, you look a little different from the last time I saw you. Have you lost weight? <laughs> you know, actually, I have. Thank you. And she, like, the, the, the furbog female kind of, like, tries to bring you in closer to, like, talk to you. Mm hmm And she says, I'm glad somebody was able to figure out that I had because Hans has it! <laughs> <laughs> like, she turns and yells. It's just, well, of course I would notice. I mean, it's it's rather obvious. Good for you. Oh, you're such a oh, jewel. I can't even get words out. <laughs> uh, yes, I was actually coming in to change because I would love to wear my suit on the town. Um, and I wanted to see if I could get a, another order from you. Oh, what were you thinking? Well, um, these are surprises, so I should keep at least uh, one of them especially hidden because my friend is with me today but i would like a hat a much smaller hat and like a little vest made because i have a um very small halfling friend that i would like to match with me oh how, how small are we talking dear are they like a, a child halfling do they need to make a appropriate sort of uh arrangements or measurements um they're just very small i would say they're pretty young, but, I mean, it's a one-time outfit. But, you know, gotta look nice. Alright, we'll, we, we'll, um, if you can get me the measurements for them, we can, uh, do something, we can, uh, s uh, solidify something for you. 
about how tall do I think that Shadow Man is? I'm gonna say, like what? Like a, a healthy, like what? Fucking puppy is gonna be no more than two or three feet long, right? Yeah. So we're gonna say that, like he's like two feet. Okay. I'd be like, I mean, he's he's about two feet tall. Oh, he is. <laughs> All right, we can we can work on that if he has this sort of a half lean uh, body type. We can make some measurements, and of course, like they kind of like move their hands around and make like little like twinkle like waggles with their fingers. Uh, we can Ooh. also make something that just automatically fits to his body type. Ooh, yes, but uh, how much would that run me? Oh, uh, for something like that, uh, the the enchantment to make the suit itself might be. Uh, she, they kind of look at you and go, mm, For you, dear, I say for something that small, uh, give us about it. Uh, well, how, how quickly do you need it? That that might be a better ask question to ask. Uh, I mean, I would love it if you could have it within the next uh, day or two. Oh, that says, mm. See, enchantment it, it works... More based on the skill and the the ability of the person, and we are very good, but we will at least need a week. Hmm. But I mean, I mean, surely with your skills, I mean, look at all that you have done together, and I mean, if you really want Hans to notice that you've lost weight, you've really got to like show him what you can do. You look great, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Roll persuasion check. <laughs> No. <laughs> I tried. I've changed my, like, dice color so many times, it's just not even worth it anymore. Uh, she sort of looks at you, and she, like, she's blushing and goes, Three days. <laughs> that's, that's very doable. I will have to charge you extra, because that is going to be very taxing on my body. Oh, of course, of course. So I would say, normally for this sort of thing, we would do something along the lines of, say, 50 gold... Uh, because you want it in a, a rather a major hurry, are you going to some sort of festival? I mean, it's it's their birthday, and I just want to surprise them. <laughs> Not wrong, technically. I know, like, that's what I'm pausing on. Like, that's, like, that's fucking clever. That's, like, that's what's paused me. That's really clever. <laughs> Alright, yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna make you roll for shit. That's good. Um, go... Oh, I understand. Um, so we will do. I want to say that's fifty. We're doing in such a small time. Oh dear, I hate to push this, but two hundred gold. It seems to like, that's that that's the best I could stretch. It's going to be very difficult to do. The enchantment is the real thing. Oh no, no, I understand completely. Um, now that, and I have a another thing to discuss with you. And, uh, yes. Uh, this one is a secret. Okay, I'll pull you away. <laughs> <laughs> it's a secret. So how y'all doing? Let's talk <laughs> shit about them. <laughs> I bet you it's another vest for Solia, but it says Poo Monster on the back. Oh my god. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> That'd work better for Bliss. <laughs> I really want that decanter. I didn't I think you'd have you. one. <laughs> I, got I got the prices price for you, my dude. Yeah, well, the because the spell I got was shape water, so if I can actually supply myself with water. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Guys, guys, I'm famous. <laughs> not, not, not for apparently. good reasons. Sadness. You're infamous. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, Bliss, Bliss just got all the credit for stealing a fuck ton of gold. Mm -hmm. She'd be proud of that. Uh, as you grab the woman's hands, Candor, I need you to make a... <laughs> what? Okay, no. I need, you, I need you to make a uh, wisdom saving throw with advantage. Okay. <gasps> it's just a bunch of fairies in this trench coat, isn't it? Natural 20! Natural 20! <laughs> yeah. The, the illusion fades away in front of you as what you see 
is something that just almost makes you topple over. You see this much lankier form, almost like these this more clawed-like form. Uh, the clothing that this woman has been wearing is the same. So, like, sort of like the kitchen tarp outfit or, like, the crafter sort of, like, uh, uh, the, the wraparound thing that you, like, see cooks wear. I can't think of it. Just yeah. basically, like, some... Apron? Yeah, apron. Yeah, like a yeah. Thank you. Jesus. Couldn't... I'm sorry! <laughs> I was like, he couldn't apron. mean apron, could he? Like, that's... Uh, no, no, listen, I'm, a, I'm American. Yes, the dumb <laughs> answer is likely the right one. <laughs> uh, you Like, they have, like, sort of that leather apron on to, like, for whatever enchantment or movement they're making. But the biggest thing you notice are the tentacles coming off of a much more elongated cone-like head. Roll it's a history a squid! Chat. Oh... Oh, I I know what this is. Out of game. Oh! What? This is where all your nat 20s have been! <laughs> it's the purple dice! <laughs> you look on in whatever reaction that Candor would have, and you know immediately this is a mind flare. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I knew it! You said tentacles. Uh, they're gonna roll an insight check. I am just yeah. very calmly keeping my face and just, like, raising my brows a little bit. <laughs> uh, they look at their hand, they look at you, and they look at their hand. Oh, poopy. And just, like, I apologize. I, if you need to go take a minute, by all means, uh, when they pull I will their... still be here when you get back. <laughs> oh, there's no, there's no need to worry about it now, sweetie. It's, uh, sort of, uh... A little late for that, and like they pull their hand back, and they say, "Um, well, this is <laughs> hmm. hmm. I'm sorry to say, I'm actually going to have to ask my husband or what what he thinks." Uh, Hans. <laughs> And, uh, you kind of, like, uh, hear- you don't even hear anything as, uh, another furball kind of, like, pokes their head out, and they look very, like, sleepy, like, both their eyes, like, blink as they go, Yeah! Uh, and, like, they just look at each other, and then Hans, like, slowly turns to you, and their eyes get a little big, and they'll, Oh, that's not- Ooh. They just, they just keep looking at each other, look at you, and, like, I want you to roll an insight check. Okay. Eight. I was so <laughs> ready for another natural 20. Would have been nice, but no. Uh, they, you don't know what they're doing. They just keep looking at you and then looking at each other. Like, but I mean, it's, just, uh, it's all very awkward. I know that they're mind flayers. I believe that they can speak to each other telepathically. I'll say that you, like, have that inkling, but you can't mm -hmm. read, like, their expressions, so you oh, don't know, like, what they're saying. Um, I just, like, hold my hands up, I was like, I, I don't judge, you do you, I honestly just really like your work and want some more clothes <laughs> and accessories. Like, I'm not gonna tell anybody, I just want you to continue doing wonderful work. They're both lovely people. Here, here, Here's my question. Does Kandor actually believe that? Oh yeah, like he's just being honest. Like, for what? His name rings true. <laughs> um, he's just like, you've done good work. You seem very nice. I don't have any reason to tell anybody. Hans sort of fully steps out of the doorway. His hands are also up like trying to mirror like, listen, we're, we're not going to do anything either. <laughs> uh, and he says, "All right, look. This is this is kind of where the, the problem comes in. Um, you know something about us, but we don't know anything about you. Um, I'm not going to pull shenanigans. I just can you let me see like the uh, secret you're keeping, and then we'll both have secrets, and then no one has to do anything." Uh, he just kind of like squints things like, but he understands that being in that place of, oh shit. Um, I would rather he didn't, but 
I understand. And we would rather have continue to have business with you. I mean, I would love to continue to have business with you. I would never think about putting your business in jeopardy. <laughs> I just... Uh, he just kind of stops for a second, like, I don't know how to word this. <laughs> Look, if you're worried about us eating your brain, we don't need to do that. I we, we... wasn't worried about it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, um... I told you I thought you were good people, now I'm well, starting to worry. I, I, listen, we, 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 <laughs> you know what we are, but clearly... And by, by, might I just add, I'm going off of your, the assumptions of your body. I am not actually even uh, tampering with your mind or invading your space. No, we're totally just, like, figuring this out by your body language. Like, what? <laughs> seriously, though, like, we can't let you leave here without giving us something. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you're crying. <laughs> Tanner <laughs> bursts into tears. <laughs> oh, God, no. Um. Um. Uh... Dude, dude, just... Mm. What? Look, I just... I, I just need to, to pull, pop into your head very briefly and see what... Uh, see something that you would not want anyone else to see and then we call it even. Just a very long pause of him looking very, like, constipated, like, oh, I don't <laughs> like this. <laughs> Okay. Okay. You get, you get two seconds. That's all I'm going to need. All I ask is that you don't flinch. Uh, and before you can say anything, you see the tentacles from Hans like open up to like a a multi tooth like beat like a three like uh, beaked mouth open. As I need you to either let this happen, or you have to make a wisdom saving throw for me. Um. I'm going to do a wisdom saving throw. But okay. it was more of just like, can he resist it enough to just like, maybe give them something that's not horrible? I'll, I'll say like, I'll say like in, in your mind, it's like when you don't flinch, but you're not relaxing. And like, yeah. you feel a very sharp pain in your mind very briefly, and you're going to take three points of damage. Oh no. God damn, what kind of damage? Uh, psychic damage. Damn, I don't have resistance to that. I have resistance to a lot of damage. Uh, and as, like, your your vision kind of gets blurry and whatnot, uh, Han sort of, uh, like, uh, adjusts himself. Looks like he just swallowed something. And then he looks at you very wide-eyed. And then, like, looks, look, looks to his <laughs> wife. They, they communicate. She looks to you. Uh, can I insight that to see? You can insight that with advantage. Because, uh, there are things that he doesn't know about himself. There. That's <laughs> a little swanny. Mm -hmm. This, this shop is just a good luck. This shop is both good luck and awful luck for you at the same time. <laughs> um, they both look at you and say, Okay, we won't say anything. What did you see? We 100% did not see that you stole the gold. It's just very quietly like, and you will continue to have my business if you keep your mouth shut. <laughs> and you will continue to have your brains if you continue to keep your mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> puts out my hand for like a, a handshake. Like, okay. The, he, there's a very awkward handshake between yes. you two. <laughs> as Jesus. as oh. you leave the building uh, and the door shuts and you just keep walking. Uh, do they want their money? Uh, they were saying that they... Okay, for actually, for his little thing, for, uh, for Blackstaff's little outfit, yes, they will want their money. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, but I'm for, going... For the other the things, other thing. uh, I will I mean, need yeah. more time above game to, oh, yeah. uh, do that. I would just say for awkwardness levels, you forget to continue <laughs> explaining what you want. 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, that was just like another time. It just, but he just like puts like uh, two hundred and twenty-five gold on the counter. Okay. Uh, they they take the gold. They appreciate the extra twenty five and wink at you. It's just like, but, but you see you see a mind flare wink. So like you see like a wink and two tentacles like giving like a thumbs up kind of thing. It's just like this is fine. It just leaves. It's just like this is awkward. <laughs> uh, do you meet up with Bliss now? Yes. Yes. Bliss would have as you're walking out and sauntered up to him as he left the store. As you're walking out, I actually need you to make another wisdom saving throw. Oh, God. 16. Yeah, you remember everything that just happened, and you will never be able to forget ever again. Does this mean every time I see them, they're going to look like mind players? Yep. Sad does. Cool. Cool, that's fine. You will, you will never not be able to see them as anything but mind flayers now. Well, I know that now, so... Yep. So, Bliss, you walk up to your buddy. Uh, waving the fucking, um... Yeah, he's in, like a, he's in a little bit of a stupor right now, just kind of like... And she walks up like, look, I'm famous. Uh, hey, look, mom, famous. And are just like, yes, I know. Sure. And then we hear Tempest, you know, meowing at my feet for whatever goddamn reason. <laughs> And uh, I think you probably, like, reveal the parchment that you have as you're both yep. looking at each other, looking at the parchments. And, and Bliss just gets this dumb grin and goes, some of my best work, I think. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if they had actually, you know, gotten more of your facial features correct, that nose is just awful. I'm sorry. She, she squids the picture and is like, yeah, right? Like, who the hell did they get to draw this? Oh god, you know, it's probably Richter. It was probably you know, Richter. it was probably Richter. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Richter's Richter just was like clenching his head, like trying to fight a migraine. It's like Richter, are you okay? I don't know anything. Do not talk to me right now. <laughs> uh, and he just kind of like Okay, well I uh, need to come back in about three days. And, uh, yeah, that went well. I didn't even change into my suit because of everything that happened. I'm just holding <laughs> everything it. Everything that just happened. <laughs> Puts on his hat and he's like, let's just go. Bliss just, like, raises an eyebrow at him and goes, so what happened? Uh, the guards interrogated me and I ordered something. Uh, and I got my clothes, which I'm sure you probably saw. <laughs> <laughs> Bliss just squids at him And And what She just continues to squint at him And he just starts walking She just shrugs and follows after him So <laughs> the look at this earring I got <laughs> Uh, where'd you get an earring? You'll never guess who gave it to me. <laughs> Was it Lucy? You liked her a lot. Nope. <laughs> but you do like her. I mean, not particularly. I and mean, she's... have you seen her? She's buff. I mean, yeah, she looks good. I, I mean, <laughs> to some people, I'm sure she does. Oh, look. God, excuse me? Damn. I mean, you can appreciate without being attracted to. God. I I mean, I guess. Yeah, no, that's true. She just um, shrugs. Bliss, and she's like, she makes like a tug motion. Like the <laughs> snake thing. Uh, he just squints and it takes him a second. Oh, gotcha. You want to elaborate on that or before you get the chance to bliss you hear in your mind um whatever it is you're doing right now uh, cause I can't see you I uh, fuck run run um why make a dexterity saving throw for me bliss 
You hear it before it reaches you. You hear the hissing of an arrowhead cutting through the air and just barely sort of, like, maneuver away from it as the arrow, like, hits onto one of, like, the wooden poles of a different stand. Uh, she looks at it and then looks back to Kandor and goes, uh, we gotta go. Um, I'm gonna look back and see if I can see where it came from. Perception? Okay. Hang on a second. Perception. 50. It's kind of hard to tell where. You know that it, it came from a rooftop, at the very least. Uh, you guys are sort of, like, uh, walking on the right side, trying, like, going towards the exit of Waterdeep. You know that it was on your guys' left and behind you. The assailant is easily covered and gone, but you know you're being tailed. Uh, I'm just gonna, like, snap my fingers and become invisible. <laughs> and Bliss will do the same. <laughs> Alright, and that is where we're gonna end the session tonight. Boy, howdy! Dun, dun, dun. Dude, dude. Fun stuff all around. Uh, you know what was funny was it was either gonna be a toss-up between goblins... Or they were just fur blogs who liked to, uh, to mess with people. And I was like, wait, I got something even better. From all the Mind Flare comics Sex has been sending. It, do it, it doesn't help that I've also been watching them on my own. And he happens to post <laughs> them after I see them. So it's like, man, Mind Flares are awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've all, I've also been super creeped out by them in my own like studies and game uh, of D and D. So it's like, oh, mind flare. Oh no, mind flares. <laughs> I just look at Kandor and like, look, I ain't judging you. I've been judged before. I just want your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Priority. Shut up and give me your clothing. No, that's gross. You're just gross. <laughs> Uh, honestly, what's funny is that, like, when it comes to D&D, &D, Mind Flayers are more of, like, vampires than vampires are. Because you're like, fuck, they eat brains and, like, they mess with your mind all the time. Where vampires are like, we're basically demigods. <laughs> Fucking deal with it. I just think it's funny. It's like, as you leave, they're gonna try to make you forget, but they still know something about you. It's like, bastards. Yeah, yeah, they super tried to fuck with you. <laughs> Oh, but it's great. It's fantastic. <laughs> we just have a working relationship right now. It's fine. Me me meanwhile, uh, away, away from the scene, they're like, So how did they taste? No, no, it was actually saltier than I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a lot of salt, bitterness, and pettiness. <laughs> yep. <laughs> the, I... I, I suspect that this boy is going to die of a heart attack at a fairly uh, middle young age. <laughs> <laughs> yep, probably. Uh, all right. Uh, that is going to be the end of the session tonight. As usual, comments, questions, concerns. Uh, I had so much fun tonight. I was really thinking, like, yeah, we'll be able to introduce the next plot. Okay, no, we're shopping. shopping. Oh no, the mind flares. <laughs> <laughs> We gotta have a shopping day between the plot heavy stuff, okay? We we on honestly, Candor's been. Candor's really needed one. <laughs> he needed like, that outfit. I, I, have been, I have been sitting on that for weeks because I'm oh. like, all right, I wanna introduce, like, their home base and, like, oh, fuck, this is gonna take a while. Oh, no, Candor really wants to go shopping. Oh, no, they're still not able to do downtime stuff. Oh, no. <laughs> I was about to straight ruin that shit, wasn't I? <laughs> I when you when you said that you you like held on to them after you initially got away, I was like, oh no, don't drop them in the water fountain, don't drop them in a water fountain. I was very much expecting Candor to fucking work you, and you have to roll with your character. Yeah, Candor was very very close to like spewing acid, and I could lie. You can't do shit to me. I've got blood shields and shit. I could probably whoop your ass, boy. Uh huh. You got blood shields and shit, but how much HP do you have? Like 13, but yes! <laughs> and all it takes is one well timed hit after you run out of blood shields, which you have to use your own, like, blood, you know, hit dice for. There's, there's a limit. 
All I say to help end this argument, Eldritch Blast. <laughs> that, if, if you crit on Eldritch Blast, that would actually kill you, so that would be super fucking kill you. Uh, not with the way Kandor has been rolling. I mean, not last <laughs> night, yeah, but still. And we have pre three nat 20s! Oh, all in a God. shop. Yep. Jesus, it was so great. <laughs> I, like, the thing that fucking broke me, right? Like, the wiz if you had gotten anything but a natural 20 with that wisdom save, I would have been like, hey, you feel weird. It's like the person's form is all blurred. Like, natural 20 is like, oh no. <laughs> I can't not give this to them now. Oh, lovely. Oh, fuck. And I'm, I'm very happy I got to fuck with Randolph a little bit too, because Randolph is one of my favorite uh, characters to, to poke with, because yes, I'm. <laughs> in, in my defense, I, you could also say I stole it from Avatar. Yeah. That's yeah. the defense. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> You're a dirty stealer. That's ninety fucking silent. That's ninety percent of being a DM is stealing things from shows. Fuck that. Ninety percent of being a creative person is stealing things yeah. and making it your own. Yeah, I hate to bring it to your writers. It's literally you steal everything. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, yeah. Also, I do like that. I do like that, like, it's like, uh, all right, well, it's canon now. Candor is into buff people. <laughs> Let's go. I, did you no, hear no, what no. he said? Free is into buff people. Oh, no. I, I mean, the buff I, ladies, I, I, yes. <laughs> but, I mean, it's like, you can appreciate somebody without, you know, being attracted to them. It's fine. Yeah, I know. That is true. It is funny. Bliss, Bliss is, Bliss's, like, reaction to everything is, like, jump straight to ridicule, though. Oh, uh, I'm pretty sure that's the entire room. <laughs> yeah. Well, true. I gotta say, like, I don't personally know Bliss's, like, connection with sexuality, but the only one who was actively, like, complimenting Lucy was just Luna, and I was just like, this is just, this is like a pet project for her now. Like, she helped <laughs> create a character. That's I all might, it is. honestly. Just like a nervous buffling. That would be awesome. This is just a, a nervous, bu a nervous buff black lady. That's all this. This uh, that's what this person became. And I'm like, all right, this is a person now. Let's mm -hmm. go with it. I'm not <laughs> hating. This is adorable as shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then Richter. I swear to God, I think I realized what I did without really. I think Richter is my. I hate saying so true. Richter is uh, my self insert, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Do you need to get some sleep? Are you okay? <laughs> no, I'm never okay. That's why I'm always working. <laughs> if I'm not working, I'm not okay. okay. No, I actually, I actually do like Richter a lot. I'm just like, what's Richter gonna be like? I feel like Richter's probably been taking up all the extra shifts since the money's been stolen. Oh no, Richter's me and my security. <laughs> <laughs> Has money been stolen? <laughs> no, but I, anytime somebody and not, not <laughs> anytime somebody uh, needs a shift covered, I'm usually the one there. Which not complaining because the overtime pay, 